What's up, everybody? So I'm just coming to you right now to start off this stream real quickly, just before we get into the actual main event itself, the actual proper event. Um, I know we couldn't show you guys the face-to-faces yesterday and a little uh, pre-fight interview. So what we're going to do, just while we're waiting for everything else to keep getting set up and stuff, I'm going to play those for you now so you can see them, yeah, instead of us uh, waiting till tomorrow. So, um, guys, you can uh, kick back, relax, and uh, see some stuff between some people. And uh, here's, here's, here's everyone. There's some people. Oh, Coach Lee, bad boy beaming. Mr. Ethan over there. Yeah, yeah. Morgan, Hammers, DTG, big man. Let's go. Live from Birmingham, England, Outcast Fight Week, tomorrow night at the H Suite. I'm joined on the left of me, my boy Trims. How are you feeling, brother? I'm feeling good, feeling relaxed. Yeah. I'm just ready to fight, to be fair. How's, how's the camp gone for this fight? Um, because to be I, fair, I, I, so it's, it's all right, it's all right. No, no, I guess you push yourself a lot further this time because you want to like really come out on top. Um, well, basically, I only had one week notice, but I've been training. So that's why I took the fight. If I wouldn't, if I wasn't fully ready, mm. I wouldn't take the fight. It's just the way it is. If like my team said you ain't ready, I wouldn't take the fight because my team is yeah. the best. So well, hopefully the physicality of your performance tonight mm. will match your mentality because I know you've got a strong mind. I know you're focused, which I can clearly see from this. Mm. How how are you feeling with the guy that you're going to be standing across? Obviously he's not here, as we can clearly see, mm. but. What is going through your mind? So the fact that Braveheart is not here for this this face-off, but also the fact that you're going to be sharing the ring with him, and you've barely seen him since the fight got announced. Um, I see some footage. He looks like he's um, very strong. I give him that. Um, he looks a bit stiff, but you know, all you know is where you know at when you're in the ring. Yeah. So, but I know, I know I'm confident. I know I can win. It's just me in a right mood, fight mood. Mm. Get me focused. And that's all it is, man. Just get me focused. Yeah. I, I, it's not really been a camp, but I've been training more, so I feel yeah. good. I feel good. Well, see, with Braveheart's um, like ability and stance mm. that he has, he has a lot of energy and he uses it mm. very quickly in the early rounds. Sometimes to an advantage, sometimes not. Mm. How would you cancel that out exactly? Oh, so I'm not going to say too much, yeah, but yeah. Um, I know I know what I'm doing. Um, had uh, sparring, um, who are like that. Um, way more rougher, uh, way more brutal, uh, way more skilled. So it's, it's all a part of the day, but I know I'm confident, I know what I'm doing. It's just, it's just the way it is, man. I can't lie. It's just the way it is. Prediction for tomorrow. What are you thinking? I always said, um, I'm not trying to be too cocky, I'm trying to stay oh, on yeah, yeah. But genuinely, I think it's going to be round two TK. Technical knockout, I wouldn't say proper knockout because that's a bit yeah. over, but I say TK, I'm going to finish him. Well, someone is going to honestly eat humble pie in this because this is going to be a fight that you want to tune in, you want to get excited for. This is probably going to start our card tomorrow and it's just going to get better and better and better as we go on, okay? Live from Birmingham, England. Trim's right here. Braveheart will be across from him. Outcast Boxing, live at the H Suite. See you then. Can I in Birmingham, start of Outcast Fight Week, set to my left, Amish, set to my right, Jake Forrest. Boys, how are we doing, how are we feeling coming into this? I'm pumped, this is my time, I'm ready this time, I'm ready. Confident words, Jake, how are you feeling, how is everything, is it hitting you that we're now here now? Not really, no, um, staying cool, calm and collected, um, let Hamish do his talking, whatever. Um, three opponents pulled out, now I'm stuck with Hamish, but it's my time. The first thing I want to jump in with you, lot, obviously, is the fact that you weren't scheduled to fight each other. You had opponents in the works, there was a weight problem, and now we've now come full circle where you two are going. So, Hamish, what exactly are you thinking now? Do you have more respect for the person across from you? Or? Oh, 
Absolutely. I've got a lot more respect for Jake here than I did for Carlin. Carlin, I've got no respect for. He's a little shit house. Couldn't make weight. Doesn't even come here today. Asked him to come still. Like, and he still wants to fight me. I actually built up my adrenaline, that killer instinct to fight him, and he's not even here. He's not on weight, so, you know. And still, he seemed like a nice guy, so, you know, I've got respect for him. So, but end of the day, it's the fight game. Nothing changed. We can't, I can't, I'm not here to be friends. We could be friends tomorrow, but I'm here to do my thing. Same mission, same goal, standard. Would you say now that the fact that you're not going up against the person that you were scheduled to, do you think it adds a little bit more fire in the tank? You want to get that first win because in your previous fights, you've got the experience, we know that, but you want to get that first W. I certainly feel better about it, yeah. I feel it's going to be easier. Well, we'll have to find out. But Jake, I want to come to you now. How would you describe like your style going through this camp? Do you think it's like perfected more and more? that you think you're ready to take on? Because this is your start. This is your start of your boxing journey. So how are you feeling about that? Yeah, well, um, I've definitely improved since the beginning. Um, I lost a bit of motivation when Azza dropped out because I thought, well, that's it. There's my opportunity gone. Mm. Uh, so I had a couple of weeks off, whatever. Mm. Um, yeah, but no, fight. Uh, the camp's been good. Been enjoying myself, ready to go. Predictions, what were we thinking? If I see an opening for a knockout, obviously I'm going to take it, but I never promise a knockout because I'm just being real, but I'm going to be, for him, I'm going to be too hot for him to handle. <laughs> I'm going to come in there, all guns blazing, I feel like. You know, obviously, I'm not going to go in there swinging, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to stick to, stick to the actual boxing, of course, but I think we're going to get to round three, and, you know, it, it might make it to the fourth round, but it might not. Confidence soothing, Jake. Yeah, look, um, I've been sparring with some, some good, good fighters. Um, who? You don't need to know who. Don't Any professional boxers? Them. Not professional boxers, okay. no, but standout strikers, um, predominantly from the MMA game, but they know their way around the ring. Um, but, but no, I don't think, I don't think there's going to be a stoppage in this fight. I know, I know myself. Um, possibly not too power, not, not powerful enough to, to stop Hamish. Um, mm. But I also know myself that I've, I've got a good chin on me. I think I'm going to take him, drag him across the floor for the whole four-rounded fight, um, mm. and, then, and then my hand will be raised. Right, for every single fight, obviously, because I will be covering you a lot in the night, I've thought of little like nicknames for this fight. So I see the final chance, but also redemption. Redemption. Beginning, so pretty much redemption versus beginning is how I see it. I like that, and I like ring to it. <laughs> right, don't forget Friday night. You do not want to miss these two. Late change, they're still hungry, they're still ready to go, they still want this. Boys, can we get a face to face quickly? Of course, I'm gonna have to bite my tongue. A bit smaller than I thought. It's not an issue for me. I'm gonna keep you at range with the jab. Keep you as far away as I can. <laughs> Best of luck. You too. Don't forget tomorrow night, Hamish, Jake Forrest, go at it, live on Outcast. See you there. Beautiful. Oh. Live from Birmingham, England, Outcast Boxing. We are here. It's fight week Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, fight night. I'm joined by the so-called and the very, very hyped up people's main event, Hamas Bueno. How are you doing, my brother? Right, How are you doing? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Oh, I'm feeling the nerves right myself, and I'll be the one announcing you. How are you feeling? I this am, is your debut. I am as well. actually very excited for my debut. I think it's going to be an easy win for me. Uh, I'm not going to make it past two rounds, so I'm going to knock him out in the first. Confidence in the cardio, I can see. Yeah. What exactly have you worked on? Because you have said you've trained very hard with the limited time that you have had. So I, I've been focusing mainly on my cardio, trying to get that as good as possible since I've had the rib injury. So hopefully my cardio is going to be good. I can get in there, do my thing, and then fuck off home. <laughs> I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad plan in all honesty, yeah. but 
you're going up against obviously someone across from you. It's not just you by yourself. Mm. There's obviously two people in a boxing ring to tango. Yeah. What have you seen from your opponent that, I don't know, maybe not troubles you, but mm. makes you underestimate a little part of their skill? He is a massive shit house, and he's going to get knocked out in the first round. He got absolutely slumped like 36 seconds in. So I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm the people's main event, and I'm going to knock him out cold. <sighs> It sounds confident. Yes. It only, only means if you back it up as well. But do you watch a lot of pro boxing yourself? Do you like get the inspiration from there? Nah, I just started watching Misfits and I was like, you know what, I want to do a bit of that. Who, who would you say is more like your style or stance from Misfits? Oh, DTG the GOAT. Just like him. <laughs> DTG sits on a lot of his power. Very good with fainting, very good with moving. So would you describe that as yourself as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, every shot that I'm going to throw, he's going to have power behind it, and I'm going to slump him. Predictions, Hamiz, what are you thinking? My predictions are first round KO. No, actually, round three, 21 seconds in. Why 21 seconds in so randomly? Uh, just a good number, isn't it? Fair enough. <laughs> And is there anyone that you have your mind set or anyone you want to call out if you do win this fight? Uh, the Italian striker. He pulled out against me, so I want to I fight him, absolutely batter him like I'm going to batter my opponent. Italian striker called out, but all up to Hamas tomorrow as he's facing his opponent across the ring. Live outcast boxing on Friday. Do not miss it. Um, that Live from Birmingham, England, we are here, we are ready for fight week because tomorrow night at the H Suite is going down the whole cast of Outcast. The whole first card will begin. I'm joined by the Alpha himself, Lewis Mel. Lewis, how are you feeling one night away from fight week? How have you prepared? What are you going to show us tomorrow? I'm ready, bro. It's been a long time coming. I can stay since about maybe last October. It's been always rumours of when I've been getting involved in the small creator boxing scene and after multiple pullouts and multiple changes and yeah. shit that's been out of my control, I'm ready to go now. Training's been putting hard, big time. Training with proper people, hat and gym, proper people, proper sparring every single week just to get ready for this. This means the most to me, so I'm going to give it my all. I've seen that as well. I know, for the fact that Hatton Gym, for those of you who don't know, Hatton Gym is one of the best in the country. I can speak for that myself. But the fact as well that you've had a little bit of a young influence as well with mm. Campbell Hatton. Yeah. Because I've seen it recently as well with you sharing pictures with him. Has he given you any advice when you're stepping in the ring for Friday or has he helped you with any technique at all? It's been a mix of everything to be fair. Like everyone who's involved at the Hatton Gym has been um, really good with me. So Andy Jones, my head coach, even Matthew's been giving me advice. Uh, we've had obviously Campbell, we've spoke a few times and we just talked about how it feels about getting in the ring on those big occasions because obviously he's been involved in himself. So he's coming up, this will be my third fight and it's just a basically controlling my nerves, making sure that I go in there as myself because that's the only person I want to represent. Mm. Obviously, thanks to everyone at Outcast for giving me the platform to do so, but I only want to go in there and show everyone what I'm about, mm. which is hopefully going to be a demolition job. I've analysed all of the, the training that you have shown. Mm. You do sit on your power, and your yeah. power, from what I've seen, is tremendous. Yeah. But it's all about catching the person who will be across from you. Obviously, Mason is not here, because mm -hmm. therefore he's turned up late. But yeah. he will be across from you. He's nicknamed himself the God of War, but mm. will the war come from him? Or will it come from you tomorrow? Well, big credit to Mason. Like I say, uh, this was taken on short notice after my last uh, opponent pulled out. Like I say, again, out of my control. It just seems that everyone's been running from me at the moment. Um, I don't talk bad online. I don't slag anybody off. I don't say anything to put me off. Mm. So the only thing that people must get worried about is the training footage that I show. He didn't do any promoting the other guy. But Mason, the minute it got announced, he was putting it on there. So fair play to him. But he calls himself the God of War. But that is what he'll get tomorrow. He'll get a war. I don't take a back step, I'll come forward, I'll put it on him, and if he can swim in deep waters with me, then fair play to him, but at the end of the day, I'm going in there, I've prepared the way that, I, if I think that I think I have, and the way I know I have with my coaches, and my, like I say, my head coach, uh, Andy Jones, my personal, uh, my personal trainer, Craig Turner, we've been putting in works since day dot, mm. since day dot, and I'm just ready to go now. Um, yeah. Personally, I don't see him lasting in there with me, whether that's in the first round, second round, third round, don't know when it's going to come, but it's going to come. I was about to jump onto predictions as well, but also, 
you have a tremendous story behind you as mm. well. The fact that you have gone through this journey, you, yeah. you've lost weight, mm. you are becoming a better boxer as well. I want to uh, branch out to everyone out yeah. there who probably have the same type of story. What advice would you give them on like, either losing weight or following their dreams or doing something around the boxing world? So with this the small creator platform, the big thing that we need to do is influence. And whether that's one person to a million people, if you've influenced somebody, you're valid on this stage. Uh, the story, the journey I've been on, the story I've been on, where it's been a big weight loss journey, mental health problems, overcoming all those kind of obstacles just to get to this point. Everything happens for a reason at the end of the day. And I wouldn't say I wouldn't want any of that because that's made me who the person I am. That's motivated me. Mm. All, all my mental health troubles is just hurdles that I had to get over to get to this point. Mm. And then hopefully tomorrow night we can overcome one more hurdle so I get my moment. And that's what I think this will be. This will be my moment. You've already teased it a little bit just then. Mm prediction yeah. but also I want to add a little bit more because obviously yeah, you, yeah. you've kind of hinted it a little bit how will you get him out like what punch will do it do you think a body shot body shot me and the Hattons we train a lot of work on the body shots and I want to see if he can mm, run yeah. when that body gets worn down whether it comes in the first whether it comes in the second but I will wear it down yeah. Maybe you get the nickname of Heavyweight Hatton after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see it as like an honorary member Hatton. Exactly. But at the end of the day, they've got their surname. I only want to represent one person, that is me, the Alpha Smale, Lewis Alpha Smale, and that is the person who I think will get the victory tomorrow night. You heard it from the Alpha himself. Does he want to lead the pack or does he want to be left behind? We find out tomorrow. Live, Outcast Boxing, Friday night. Do not miss it. This is going to be an absolute cracker. Live in Birmingham, England, we are here for Outcast Fight Week. Friday, tomorrow night, it goes down. I'm sat with the two men who are going to be our co-main event. Abish and GST, the hometown hero. Boys, gentlemen, how are we feeling? We are only one night away from, if I think, an absolute bomb stormer. So Abish, how are you feeling first? Ready. Ready? Ready for tomorrow, just want to get it done with. Fully in fully focus mode, yep. no more talk. No, nope. talk's okay. done. Jay, how are you feeling? Oh, he says he wants to get it done quick. It will be done quick, because I'll finish him very quick. <laughs> you know, especially, you know, watching him vaping outside, you know, he ain't going to have a good gas tank. Mm. We'll so see. I'm we'll going to fuck him up very quick. Oh, mm. that's cute. Yeah. That's that mm. Absolutely. <laughs> Land a big shot on him. He'll get fucked up, Got and I'll finish. I'll finish him quick. I want to start off by going back ten months ago. So when you had your debut up in Brighton, yeah. by the way, phenomenal debut with that. Yeah. Okay, showed a lot of heart, lots of skill for your first ever bout, and you went up against a hard hitting, much more experienced fighter. So how has the fight and don't want to say obviously, but the loss from Bad Boy Beamer, how has it now transformed you as a fighter for this bout? Look, I went in on the deep end in my last fight, so anything now just seems fucking light work. Yeah. And yeah. he's going to be light work for me. He, I'm not going to be troubled at all. He's got a 2 and 0 record, but it means fuck all to me. Are you underestimating him a little bit in no. this fight? Or are you still just are fully focused on getting the job done? I'm, I'm focused, you know, yes. I'm, I'm not underestimating him, he's shit, you know, <laughs> he's shit and he vapes, mm. he's got... So all you can say, are they... Mm. You, you vape, you got no gas tank? Mm -hmm. mm. We'll see. Bish, come to you now. Yep. One of the only undefeated people on this card, mm -hmm. with experience. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you plan to show tomorrow night? Because My skill. My yeah. stamina and my brutality. Brutality, brutality how? Brutality how? As in, I ain't going to let him off. I'm going to go for him constantly. And I'm going to be chasing him down. Every inch of that ring is going to be mine and mine only. It is cooking up well between you two, but is there much bad blood? Do you think after this, you lot would actually get along or have a handshake after this fight or show respect either way? Because obviously there is respect there. But it can be at a higher level. Mm -hmm. I've, like I said, I've, I give credit to Jay for stepping into the ring. Yeah. I appreciate this opportunity on Outcast. Big shout out, Outcast. A big shout out to them for letting me on. It's a fight game at the end of the day. I don't, I don't discredit Jay. He's put in the work, and I appreciate that because I want to be tested in the ring, and I know Jay's going to give me that test. But 
the result's going to be the same. I'm going to win mm. straight up. So. I just want to switch it up, G. Final question. What is your biggest weapon? Okay. Or what do you think is going to be the advantage for you against a bitch tomorrow? My advantage? Yeah, your advantage. The, the fact I don't vape. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, I, I do plenty of runs, so I would have a good tank, height, reach, you know, that jab is going to be in his face all night, he's going to be eating it, he's going to love it, then he's going to get fucked up. Mm -hmm. Sounds gorgeous. Predictions, boys, what are we thinking? Me winning. I ain't going to say I'm a knockout artist because I'm not, I'm just going to go in with my game plan execute it perfectly and come out with the win. Jay? First, second round. Uh, first I'll win. With the jab. I'll fuck you up with a jab. Yeah, first round, jab. That's what you've I'll been saying online, man. That's what you've yeah, been saying. Fuck yeah, fuck me up with a jab then. I'd love to see it. I will. I will. You'll see it. <laughs> Fucking weird. There's, there's a lot of fire between That's these two to start off with. There's a lot of fire between yeah. you two. No, it's <laughs> mad. Okay. It's just showing off. That's all it is. Mm. You know. There's a lot of fire between these two. You probably think this is our main event. No, this is our co. This just shows how well this card has been made. This just shows that everyone here wants to be here, wants to actually perform well, and wants to elevate them to the higher level. So, I'm going to risk it. Can we get a face off, boys? You ain't winning tomorrow, brother. Sure. Nah, 100%. 100%. You're yeah. losing, brother. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Look at your baby yeah. face, brother. What are you going to do? Fuck, fuck, fuck all. You're going to do fuck all. You're going to do fuck all. You're going to do fuck all, brother. You're going to do fuck all. Oh, he's taking I'll fuck people. I'll take him off as well, mate. You ain't going to do fuck all. You ain't going to do fuck all. You ain't going to do fuck all. You're just showing off because your boys are here. That's crazy. You ain't going to do fuck all. You sure? Yeah, 100%. You're nothing, bro. I'm gonna sure take you, you out. You're kind of a bit cockeyed. Cockeyed. What are you looking? Mad. Looking there, there. You choose, bro. You're just showing off, man. I don't care. Tomorrow, it's happening. Uh -huh. Coming event for tomorrow night, boys. I'm gonna have to skip it. We're gonna have to push it, bro. Yeah, 100%, bro. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? One, two. One, twos. Is that what you're gonna do? It's all on the heat. Fuck off. It's all on the heat. Fuck off. Yeah. You ain't doing nothing. Bro. You sure? You ain't doing nothing. Why? All I mean is the one. Do two. something then. Why the fuck? Do something death? then. I don't need to do, do anything now. Do something then. Don't need to do Prick. anything now. What? Fucking weirdo. Me, weird. Fucking we'll, see weirdo. We'll, see we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, won't we? We'll see what happens then, won't we? We'll see what happens then, won't we? Prick. You're ready for tomorrow, boys. Oh, 100% man. War tomorrow. Talking's done now. I don't need to say anything. They're, they're doing the talking for me, but no more words tomorrow. That's not your These two. Routine, it's Come on. It, it finally it's ends. War time. Outcast. <laughs> Live from Birmingham, England, Outcast Fight Week. Tomorrow night, everything is going down, but I'm sat right now with me, Thursday, the main event of this amazing card. Chizzy on my left, CJ on my right. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Firstly, I want to come to you, Chizzy. How are you feeling coming I'm into feeling Fight Week? Great. I'm feeling great. Um, we finally got here. I had a big journey, but I'm here now. I'm glad to be sat here talking to everyone now. I'm glad to be in the room. Moving on, CJ. I'm feeling pumped, trained for this, I've worked hard, and all I'm saying is that uh, I'm going to shake the world tomorrow, you know what I mean? Tell me how camp has transpired, like you, you have put your body through absolute hell, because I can tell from the results in front of me, like yeah. you are looking incredible shape, obviously we'll see it tomorrow in the ring if it's going to do the job or not, but yeah. how, has it, <laughs> how has it been, how has it been going through all the gears and going through like a new level of pain, I would hope, that you've gone it's, through. It's not been easy. Yeah. Like, I didn't realize how hard it is to train. Like, I have a new appreciation for boxers. I've been trying to just even do it a little bit. It's, it's, it's a sport. It's an art, really. You have to really be into it. Yeah. And, yeah, I just had a glimpse for this fight. So. What made you take the fight with Chizzy? What made you want the main event spot as well? <laughs> um, I figured... There was a little bit of cockiness in there. I wanted to see, I wanted to like push my body. I wanted to see if I can knock someone out, and I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow. So. He's saying he wants to knock you out, Jizzy. The question is, are you gonna let him? 
So hopefully no. He'll, he'll, have, a, he'll have a job, like. He'll have a job. He'll have a job. Let, him, let him try. He can try. What, what exactly do you think will give you a bit of an edge in this fight? What do you think that you will bring to the table? My height, my reach, you know, being lighter on my feet and not going in there trying to get a knockout straight away. Like, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face, like Mike Tyson said. Like. Legend as always, always speaking the facts. What do you think will be your best attribute that you've worked on the gym that you think you're going to bring to the table? Maybe I, footwork or power or maybe even speed level? I think my speed is quite good. Yeah. Yeah. I think being light on the feet, is, I, that, I prefer that. I yeah. prefer that to being, to being bulked up, you know. Yeah. I reckon my speed is a good attribute that I've got. Yeah. CJ, I want to come to you quickly again because what I've seen from you in the gym, you reminded me of a very similar uh, pro boxer by the name of Amma Williams. And Austin Amma Williams is a very heavy hitter, but also very, very light on his feet. And he controls everything from the center. Yeah. Is that how you would say it's kind of like your fight style? Yeah, I'd say I'm very quick. Well, I'm very fast. Yeah. Um, and, I'm, and I know how to pinpoint, you know, target. Mm. Uh, I feel like a fight, you've got to be smart. You've got to, be, you've got to know what you're doing. Not just rush in, face flailing kind of thing. So. Uh, I know what I'm going to go for. I so think. you're perfectly happy with going for the gears instead of just going head hunting and going for that highlight real KO strike? Yeah, I mean, well, it's going to happen, but yeah. it's, that's <laughs> going to be part of the plan, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Predictions, boys, what are we seeing? I reckon third round knockout for, my, for myself, maybe. Or maybe I could win on points out boxing. I'm not, not trying to go for a so knockout. Mo multiple options, yeah? yeah. All right. I'm not trying to lose my first fight. I'm not going in all guns blazing like a bull in a china shop. Like I'm trying to go in there. All... That's the added pressure for you two as well, because this is your debuts as well. Like if you step on the right track, that train will keep going until the next stop. If you get what I mean, to the next fight. Yeah. yeah. So CJ, what are you thinking? I'm thinking tomorrow's not going to be a fight. I'm going to read crazy uh, bedtime story because he's going to be slept on the night. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Two massive figures, as we know from their followings. Tomorrow, they lace the gloves because this is our main event of the night and you don't want to miss it. Boys, it's been all respectful. Little, little bit of teasing, little bit of fire stirring up in the pot. Can we get a face off yep. before we close it off? <laughs> well, we did that at the same time. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't, I can't yeah. take that seriously. How have we done that at this point in time? You can tell it's their debuts, yeah. but tomorrow night, these two are gonna go to war. One of them, like I said, will stay on the train, one will get off at the first stop, but will they get back on afterwards? Outcast, live on Friday. Don't miss it. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's your face-offs done. Uh, I know that we are still running a little bit behind, so uh, we're gonna waffle for a minute. <laughs> so obviously, myself, Jalum, Jody, Morgan, Ethan, uh, and a lot of other people. I don't know if you can see me right now, even. We've been working very, very hard, very, very hard on this. And, uh, yeah, we plan to put a really, really good show for you guys. We've got some great fights. We've got some really good fighters. They're all eager for it. Um, you saw then some uh, s some of those face-to-faces got heated. We even had Hammers uh, a little bit earlier. He got very, very heated with his opponent. I don't know if you've seen that. Go check his Twitter if you can. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to pass you over to Jody for a moment. Like I said, live in Birmingham, England, ladies and gentlemen. It's filling up nicely here. We've got a very, very exciting fight. Many, many fights coming our way. A good set of seven, good set of 14. It's filling up nicely here in the H suite. You don't want to miss any action that is going down tonight. You do not want to miss it. From the very start to our co-main, we've had a little bit of spice over the last couple of days, to our main event. 
We're going to try and give you all the information, all the coverage, all of the fun starting an outcast. So, sit back, enjoy yourselves. If you're sitting on around in YouTube, if you're watching it from the Outcast Boxing channel, welcome. Get ready for an exciting night. If you're just turning up here, it's starting to fill up very, very nicely. I'll be I'll be talking through every fight that we have. It's going to be a fun one. See you soon. Just stop. Just lost our music for a moment. It will be back soon. I'm, uh, I'm going to get the other camera out in a second. I'm going to have a little walk around. A little walk around the uh, around the venue. Go say hello to some of our guests. We've got, uh, we've got DTG here. We've got Mr. Ibi Virgo. We have Big James Bueno. No, he obviously is fighting. But we've got Coach Lee, Bad Boy Beeman. Loza. Loza in the house as well. And right now we've got Trems. Being accompanied by Jays or Jazze, however you want to say his name. I'm not too sure. They're getting in the ring right now to have a little warm up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, well, just, just oh. Oh. This, this one has, has three months. Three months. Three months. Three months. I can't. I can't. Three See if I can do something about the sound for everybody.
Right well, now we've got, we got Mason, Mason Brown, Brown in the ring, just having a little warm up, having a little move around. I wonder what he's listening to. Do you think he listens to drum and bass? Do you think he listens to smooth, smooth jazz? Maybe a little bit of lo-fi? You never know. You never know. It's good, he's come straight here. He's got in, dialed in, nice, calm, collected. Very, very nice. Looks like he's going to move around a lot. He might be trouble. He might be some trouble for Lewis. But we'll see. We will definitely see. This is going to be one of the fights of the night, in my opinion. I see this fight being an absolute banger with a possible knockout. I just, just want to take, take a quick, quick moment, moment just before, before anyone else decides, decides to get into the ring, ring. and before, before anyone else decides to uh, come and have a little warm-up or say anything, anything else. I just, just want to say thank you very, very much to every single person who has sent us messages today. today. Um, it is massively, massively appreciated. We, uh, we, we put a lot of hard work. Hopefully it's all going to pay off today. Hopefully it will. It's going to. And you can probably only just see my head about now. But, yeah, thank you for all the support that we've been given. And, yeah, big up to you, man. Here we got, got Jake, Jake Forrest, Forrest now. now. Second, Second fight, fight of the night. night. A, -side. A side. He's coming to have a little warm up. Coming up a little dance, dance touch the ropes, ropes and stuff. stuff. This is going to be a very interesting, interesting fight. fight. A last, last minute switch around this fight. fight. They're originally They're supposed to have um, Hamish, Hamish going up against Carl and Gibbs. Gibbs. And Jake, Jake Forrest was originally meant to be fighting Hazard, which then got changed. Um, but because of weight issues, uh, he's ended up fighting Carlin. Uh, not Carlin, sorry. He's fight, ended up fighting Hamish. It's going to be a very interesting fight. It's going to be a very interesting fight. We've got Jake coming in and making his debut. That's a quick warm up. But he's, uh, yeah, Jake making his debut. His first fight, first time in the ring. We've got Hamish, who is no stranger to the ring. Five times. Five fights Hamish has had. Insanity. Insanity. I'm going to leave, leave you again, again for a minute, minute. and then hopefully, hopefully we will be getting back. back. We will be getting back. We will be getting on the way very, very soon. We have our ring officials and referees sat ringside right now. You might be able to see them if you just have a little glance through the ring. I promise all the uh, commentary work and the uh, voiceover and stuff like that will be a lot more professional when I'm not doing it. When you've got Jody, uh, his soft soothing. Beautiful, Beautiful, deep, deep chocolatey, chocolatey voice. voice. Gracing your ear holes. But yeah. Kisses. Kisses.
I can have a little bit. Right, I'm back. Let's have a little look at the chat. Finn McGuire, if you showed up right now, we possibly could get you a fight, actually. It's crazy, that wouldn't it be? Wouldn't that be? We do have... We do have a Mwenya. We have a Machek. You can have a rematch. Do we want that? Do we want the Machek and Finn rematch? Right, bro. Big J.A. there. He's in the corner for a couple of our fighters tonight. Hammers Bueno in particular. It's going to be really cool. Let's have a see what the stream's saying then, shall we? We do not we only have, have one camera. camera. We, we did, did have, have three. three. One, one of them died, died on us, so, so we have two, two now. That's, That's fun. fun. I have, I have just noticed that that, that camera, camera is wonky, wonky but you know, there's, there's not much that we can do now. We move. <laughs> we'll fix, fix it in post. post. We'll fix, fix it in post. Drizstar. You say that, but this is the thing, right? You're comparing, comparing somebody who had a lot, a lot of money, money putting in, in some, some effort, effort uh, compared to people who don't have as much money putting in a shit ton of effort. effort. So, so 
Yeah, yeah you can keep, keep comparing, comparing if you want. want. I think it's, it's silly, silly though, though, really. really. Lewis, Lewis is kitted, kitted and ready, ready to go. go. He's, got He's got his wraps on, on his shorts on. He's looking hungry. We will be getting the first fight in the way. Very, 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 very soon. And when I say I said very soon before, I mean very soon. Even sooner. If it doesn't work, it's time to keep going. It's completely right. It has to be done. You can't stop. The show must go on. That's what I've been saying. I've been saying it the whole time. I should probably get the chat off on my phone. That would probably be better. I can't put my beer down on the ring. That's not That's not idea. Let's get the chat off on my phone, shall we? Let's see what people are saying. But I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's doing good. Have a good day. I'm starting to get a bit antsy now, to be fair. Some, some good, good things, things on the picture, picture. Oh, no, the, the, not the picture, picture the video of uh, Mr. Jovi doing his little talky talk, talk by the ring, just showing the layout of the room there. there. We, we like this, we like this. It's a very nice venue, the Hate Suite, Hate Suite Birmingham, that's where we are right now. Very, very nice venue. Um, it looks very different, it's very, it's a bit more modern outside, it's a bit more modern. And then when you come into it, it's a bit more, it's a bit more... Am I famous now? Is this what you do to get famous? Yeah. And then you got to buy followers. Put your pussy in bio. <laughs> oh, like you said, big J there. He's a, he's a big guy, you know. He is tall. I thought I was tall. He is tall. Light heavyweight as well. Crazy. Insane. You got 117 viewers right now, live and direct. Beautiful. We love this. It's better than SCB1, so that's the main thing. We tried. We tried. We wanted to. We put in the effort, we put in the work, we put in the work. Some things have fell through, a lot of things have fell through. Uh, the card was looking so much different when we first got this done. Shouldn't be long now. Remember, it's the DTG, Big Dej, as we like to call him. Or as I like to call him. I won't call out into his face, though. After he punched me in Leeds. Not again, not again. Wagwan, most wanted. How you doing, brother? Jakey for the win. Shout out. Oh, oh, fucking hell, Afro. Oh, oh my god. god. Should I swear? I don't, I don't care. Walk your world equals goat. goat. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're all right. right. The first, first fight, fight tonight, tonight will be uh, Trems. No, no, Braveheart. Yeah, Braveheart, Braveheart versus, versus Trems. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do, do a good job of announcing any fights because that's not my job. That's Mr. Jody's job. Maybe because Jeff Hardy is a blind man had to draw him. Insane. Incredible. <laughs> Anton, Anton Bell's victim. Don't know about that. Don't, Don't know, know about, about that. that. First win for Jake Forrest. I see you have a similar surname. Same surname, actually. Or last name, at least on the stream, so that's cool. Uh, I'm guessing you may be related. Like I said before, it was a very interesting one uh, with the, the whole Jake fight. Because um, obviously, obviously he wasn't, wasn't meant to be, be fighting fight Hamish, Hamish, and that's, that's just how, how it's turned out. Hello, live stream. Oh, is it just a live stream, yeah? Yeah, yeah hello everyone, how's it going? We're, uh, chat. To the chat. We're here. Um, hello, hello Schmuck Schmuckly, how are you doing? It's, um, it's a great night that we've got going on, isn't it? We are barely in camera frame right now. Do you just want to step in the ring? I'm all right, I'm just, I'm chilling. You can, I think you can shoes off, lad. Just sit, sit and chill. chill. Yeah. Just find, find their fine. They don't need to see any more of us. How is everyone? We're doing good, Connor. We're doing good. Stressing, stressing. But you know, we're doing well. Your cowboys doing the line. There's a possibility. There's a possibility. People turning up. That's a good. We do have people turning up. We do have people turning up. 130 live concurrent viewers right now. How sick is that? 
we talked about so far? Yeah. Nothing really. I missed a lot. Of, I feel like I missed. I've, I've just, just been chatting. I've been chatting. I've been chatting. I put the mic down. I walk off. I come back. I chat a little bit. That's just what I'm doing right now. Yeah. I'm the man running the stream. I will, I will be, be sat, sat behind, behind a computer, computer behind, behind that, that camera, camera basically all night. So this is mostly will be the only time you see and, and hear my voice, voice. Yeah, well, which is probably better for you guys. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, you're going to have to hear my voice because I am commentating tonight. Uh, well, is what it is. <laughs> here we go, the voice. It's all scooting here. The poor ladies and gentlemen of Elkhurst probably fed up on my voice anyway. No, we, we can never be fed up on your voice. No, that's right, we're always having it back. Which part are we going to now? We're talking about boys? We're just chatting, mate. We're just chatting, just chatting. 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 I was talking about the Jake Forrest fight, how it was a bit of a, a, bit of a weird one. Because obviously he wasn't meant to be fighting Hamish originally. Hamish was meant to be fighting Carlin. I said very specifically to you, I think, in my point of view, both are very competitive, both have got similar styles, but also different qualities. So I think they could possibly potentially steal the show with how they perform. Only depends if they do perform. Yeah, that's a thing. We'll, we'll definitely see if they've been putting the work in because I know that Hamish, obviously, he's no stranger to the ring, like I said earlier. Um, five times, five fights he's had, which is insane. Um, and then we've got Jake, who's coming in for his debut. But has he been putting in the work? We're definitely going to find out. I hope he has. I, mean, I know he's a footballer, so his stamina is there. I, so. I think we all know, though, when it comes to boxing, like, even, you know, Hamish had this many fights, right? He might have lost that many fights as well. That doesn't matter because what matters is your experience and how you aware of the ring you are. Maybe Jake doesn't have that, but maybe he does. Who knows? Like, you, like you never know with somebody who's making their debut. It's kind of like a like a wild card in a sense. You know, they yeah, could yeah. either like come out like a prime Mayweather or they could come out like a prime Ethan GB UK. We'll just <laughs> never know. Hey, I, I'm I'm still holding that. You won your fight, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean. He wasn't walking afterwards. I was. So. True. Yeah, you didn't go to the hospital. He did. You know, it is what it is. No swollen balls that time. No. <laughs> right, it's, it's a very different opposite side of the spectrum because Hamish has had more experience, but it's a shorter fight. I mean, we know he can work the body well if you've watched his fights. I suggest you go and watch them if you're waiting for this card to start. But as well, Jake, whilst making his debut, longer reach, longer bit of power. And I've just seen him been moving around. He's a lot quicker and nimble as well. And he weighed lighter. Yeah. Now that doesn't often transcend to he has less power. It can transcend to he has more speed. Yeah. But it only depends on how he uses it. I believe, like I said, he is a footballer. I definitely feel like he's got that athletic background in him. You know, yeah. he's not no stranger to sport in general. Uh, so I think he's. I think his gas tank is going to be good. Um, and I think he's, he's going to be able to come out and, uh, and, and perform. We just, you just got to see if, his, um, I mean, we, if he's been putting the work We've in. also got to consider the adrenaline dump. That happens a lot. I mean, we, we saw it, what was it, Misfits 13, VWGR? Yeah. Just like adrenaline dump, got hit once, got hurt, and it was just over for him, you know? Yeah. Uh, we just got to see how, if, if it happens to Jake, you know, maybe he gets it done in round one and he never has that adrenaline dump. We will never know. Like it, we, we're gonna have to find out tonight, obviously. On exactly. we could know very, very soon. Second <laughs> fight of the night. Yeah. Outcast Double O One live and direct Friday, with AKA today. Let's <laughs> just um, say it. Anton Bell undefeated. Let's have a look at the chat scene. Anton Bell, my goat. You really like Anton Bell? Maybe you should marry him. Ethan is in permanent crabs bend. Okay, Amber who said that? Who, wait, wait. Pull up their name. Pull up their name. Who Amber, said that? Who's Amber? Amber. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, no, Amber, I, just remember I know where you live, okay? That's insane. That's crazy. Oh, the OGs know that Ethan's the best on commentary. Well, there you go. There we go. There you go. Hey, who said that? Oh, um, oh Finn, Finn, of course. And yeah. then YTBS said, YTBS. yeah, Yaz, I think it's, uh, that's, <laughs> stop, what's that? No, there's a hey. different guy, different guy. But yeah, why is Ethan kind of... Why, why am I? Who knows? You know, it's a, it's a mystery. No one will ever find out. No, I don't think I will find out. You know, so true. A lot of this stuff is about you. I'm Ethan on screen. Events officially peaked. Ethan, sit up straight. Why is Ethan kind of? Hey. Ethan's in permanent crabs bend. <laughs> At least there's some good. Should I come out to crab rave for my next fight? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Ethan looking a hella cute. Hell What's yeah. the first fight? The first fight is Braveheart LDN. LND? LND. Braveheart LND and Trems. Uh, that's going to be a very interesting fight. I don't know much about Braveheart, but I've seen Trems give off some crackhead energy, as I yeah, like to call uh, it. Well, um, it's going to be a very interesting fight. Obviously, with Trems, uh, like, I've, known, I've known him for like well over a year now. You know, I met him at the first SCB event. He was there with Finn. 
and I know how hungry he was for a fight. And it's taken him a while to get a fight in this scene, but it's finally happened. I know he's put in that work. He's training with great people, you know, with Jazze, who's obviously he's fighting on DKM Rising Stars next month. Yeah. He's training with Finn, who obviously just fought on DKM Plush. So it's like, I know he's with good people, and all you really need in a camp is great coaches and great people, because as long as they're lifting you up, that's all you need. Like, it, it can be very hard when you don't have a great support system. Definitely. I think most people realize that. Yeah. And so the, the key thing to do in camp is to give yourself like a good support system. Oh, yeah, Not necessarily people, yes men, who will hype you up all the time, right? But people who are there to keep it real with you. Mm. And I feel like that's what Trems has. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, again with Braveheart, I don't know that much about him. But hey, he could just come out and, you know, kind of shock us all and, yeah. you know, like, you never know. I know I keep saying it like, oh, you never know, but. That's the thing, you do never know. This is the thing. One punch can change everything. Yeah. Uh, one second, one round, the turn of a round, you know. One, someone could slip over and it could be knocked, classed as a knockdown. You never know. You never we've know. Seen, we've seen in this sport time and time again, experience is key no matter in any shape or form. Whether you win every single fight, whether you've lost every single fight, you still build up experience to then eventually go out again and try and get that redeeming moment. Yeah. Or if you won all your fights, rinse and repeat. Yeah. So, for Braves Art case, because he's had three fights, mm. all drawn across, all different on the board, one fight, one, sorry, one win, one draw, one loss. Yeah. For Trims, he hasn't got that much. This is going to show the balancing levels, which one will rise a little bit higher than the rest. Mm. I'm personally excited to see how these two will cut off the ring, or will they offload all of their energy in the first couple of rounds? Because yeah. these rounds go quick, they're two minute rounds. But they can also gas out quickly as yeah, well. Definitely. But we should see. Definitely, definitely. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. In fact, I'm so excited. I'm going to get off of this right now, and I'm going to leave you in the beautiful, capable hands of Mr. Ethan GB UK and Jody oh, Edwards. Are you, are you right sure, here. You, are you, sure you want to do this? And I'm going to go and uh, go get that first fight going. Cool. So, All right. You know, awesome. Good you two. Yep. Come on, Jody. Let's get in. All right. So obviously we've talked about I think two fights so far, right? We've we talked have. about Hamish versus Car. Uh, no, Hamish versus this is Jake Forrest. Jake Forrest. We talked about, about Trims and Braveheart. Let's go into let's go into like maybe a bit of a favorite for tonight. Obviously we've got Lewis Smale versus Mason. How are we feeling about that? It's heavyweight, you know, two meaty men just going in there. How are we feeling? Heavyweight division in boxing in total has been on fire recently. We have yeah. seen that. Fraser Clark and Fabio Wardy did an absolute incredible one last weekend. I am thinking similar of the same here. I think both are game for it, both have trained, both had original opponents, but obviously they backed out. So now it only makes sense for- Well, I, I mean, like, uh, clarification of a beam fight, there was no back out, it was just a disagreement on like exactly, glove size yeah. and all that. Yeah. Don't kill me, bad boy, please. <laughs> I know you're here somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Behind me right now, Where probably, <laughs> but. But it only makes sense for those two to come together because both have experience, both wanted to fight on this card, and they both just made it nice and agreeable, and they're both nice and easy to get along with. They won't be easy to get along with each other when they get stepped in this ring. But there's obviously the difference of uh, height, but also power. Mm. I feel with Lewis's, Lewis's stock and weight behind him, because you remember, he, from the weigh-ins, he has weighed, just to let you not know now, he's weighed in 32 kilograms heavier, heavier, that generates a lot of power, but it also could mean a lot of cardio will burn out quickly. Yeah, well, that's the thing about heavyweight division. You know, there's no upward weight limit, like, whatsoever. It yeah. can, it can, like, we could, you, you know, you can have anyone just weigh in, like, stupid amount over. Exactly, yeah. And it's still game because, obviously, you know, what you said with the, with a bigger person, that cardiovascular burnout yeah. happens a lot quicker with a bigger person. But yeah. You know, we just got to see, mate, what is Mason's game plan? You know, maybe he just waits him out, waits I, him to tire out. I think, as I like to call it, it's, do it's dodge and deliver, as I would call it. Mason landed one-off shots, trying to get as clean as possible, but trying to oh, avoid the power, gosh. because the bad swings that we've seen from heavyweight boxers in the past, and even in this industry as well, um, the mad swings take so much energy out of you, and the lactic acid starts to build up all around your body, not just in arms. It feels like you're going numb everywhere, but yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be possibly a contender for fight of the night. All of these fights are contenders for fight of the night, but this one, as it's heavyweight, it goes up a notch. Power is there, excitement is there. Will the delivery be there? 
We'll find out. We will find out tonight. We'll find out. And obviously, the fight after that one, you know, it's Hammers Bueno and there's 20 M Rose. Obviously, that's that's a lightweight fight right there. So it's like complete opposite end of the spectrum, you know. We've got two absolutely massive guys and we've got two absolute twigs fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, my fighter again? <laughs> Obviously, yeah, we're here with Jay as well. He's cornering uh, Hammers. Yeah, of course. Hammers going to get uh, first round, maybe second round KO. But you know what the deal is. We only corner winners around here. So other than Brandon, yeah, of course. But uh, well, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> so... Uh, Obviously, you've been in sort of, not Hamza's camp, but you've been kind of guiding him through this. Like, how have you prepared him for his fight? Well, just been helping him out with uh, boxing drills, training, got him running a lot. When he first, you know, approached me, I think he was running 3K in something stupid, like 30 minutes. He's shredded that time down lows now. So he's What's his personal best so far? His personal best? I think it was less than 20. Which, come on now, that's, within that's a few weeks, bad, yeah. to have a 10 minute, you know, improvement is well, massive. I certainly know I can't do that, so. <laughs> but when are we going to see you back in the ring? Uh, well, everyone keeps asking me this, I just, I, I really don't know, you know. It's one of those things where it has to be the right person. Yeah. But also, I know I really can't be picky at the same time. Like, I mean, there's one guy I'd love to fight, Trey Ingram, on a, Trey Ingram. a potential UK vs US card. Oh, okay. I, you know, me and Trey Ingram, you know, we'll do it for the, like, I don't know, like, BMF belt, baddest male fighter belt or something like that. But, hey, Trey Ingram, if you're hearing this, I'm, I'm calling him out, I guess. You know, we do it cruiserweight. I don't duck him, don't be a pussy, Trey. Yeah, and obviously, um, who have we got behind us right now? Obviously, we've we, got, we got JST. Not only the no, we got own yeah. JST. He's right behind us. Zone, yeah. Oh my God, he's he's. Oh boys, let, let's get our camera shot. Let's just let the let's just let the ladies and gentlemen just enjoy this. Obviously, someone's left the phone in the ring. Oh, it's Jay's phone. Jay left his phone in the ring, but obviously we have him warming up. Right, well, not warming up, but just getting a good feel of the ring. Come on over here, Jody. Come on over here. Well, actually, no, we'll go to the we'll go to the computer. We'll reach out as well. Sorry, I'm going everywhere. I really have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Jesus Christ. All right, sorry, I'm peeking. Um. I want to see Ethan versus Dave from Weatherspoons. Ethan beats Trey, come on. Um, yeah, obviously we, we have Jay right up here, right in the... Right in the, <laughs> <laughs> the okay, I'm just reading chat. Ethan versus Jay UK versus Trey is not for being a F belt. Baddest male fighter, Leo, okay? Um, obviously, yeah, sorry, I just waffled a shit ton. What are we saying about Jay right now? He's looking a lot more composed than last time. Uh, obviously, last time, 10 months ago, he fought Bad Boy Beeman, who is in attendance tonight. He was very, very composed then, but a little bit rash. I can tell from this straight away, I, I, although it's not much, it's him moving nice and slick, staying behind all of his movement, not rushing. I know it's simply shadow boxing, but shadow boxing can be the easiest thing to guide you through the light and show you the proper path of boxing. Yeah, and um, obviously we we also have Jay up against someone else from kind of the same sort of Birmingham area. You know, he's going up against It's a Biz. It's a Biz has had two ultra white collar boxing fights. Jay's had essentially what is a white collar fight against Bad Boy Beeman. So obviously a Biz won both his. But, you know, Jay lost his, but it's against someone like Bad Boy Beamer, who has had that so much experience. It's kind of ridiculous how much Bad Boy Beamer's fight uh, fought. So, it's just one of those things where, how are these two people who are kind of in the same place in their journey in boxing, how are they going to go up against, you know, each other? How are they? I think, in all honesty, Abyss is a little bit of the unknown. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit more, a little bit of that, quite, well, actually, no, quite a lot of that on this card. But with Abyss, he'll want to go for the body. I can tell that straight away because I've seen him warm up, I've seen him, I've seen him perform on YouTube in his videos. He likes to go for the body. The question is, is Jay going left? I will personally say no, and then what's the plan B? What will he counteract with? Will he go back up upstairs again? Or will he continue doing the same thing and hopefully let it work? We just don't know. We'll find out tonight in our cold main event, but this one could catch fire. 
Exactly. I mean, well, obviously, we played these face-offs way obviously before the stream started. Obviously, very so much fire between those guys uh, against uh, Biz and Jay. So let's just see how it goes. And obviously, going into our main event for tonight. Obviously, yeah, we're going into our main event for tonight. You know, CJ versus Chizzy Too Dizzy. That's going to be a banger. You know, it's two sort of guys from the same similar sort of TikTok scene fighting each other. I think both of them are making their debut, so it's kind of unknown with what they're going to go with. But, you know, I, I hope it's a banger. And I really do realize I am just waffling right now. Come on back, Jody. I don't like waffling to myself. Obviously, main event, how do you think of that? Main event. CJ Daily Dose is cheesy too dizzy. Cheesy too dizzy. It's so that's so hard to say. It, Imagine it if you're dizzy saying that. That's like, even more pain. You know what? Get a little bit of a challenge though. Yeah. Um, both. Say are. it five times in a row. Cheesy too dizzy. No, I'm not going to Come on, doing that <laughs> because I need to keep my head straight. Both are new to this scene, but you can see the levels that they have trained at as well. One is looking a lot more bigger than the other. One looks like it can carry power more. The other looks a little bit faster and nimble, able to dodge out of corners, okay? But we just don't know. We will find out tonight. Like I keep on saying for every single fight, we will find out, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things where there's a lot of unknowns, especially when you come to this sort of crossover boxing scene. You know, you've got people who haven't been training all too long, you've got people who have been training way too long. Uh, it's just, how do people react to it? Anyways, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a break from my voice for now because I have waffled endlessly. I'm going to keep doing it throughout the rest of the night. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a break and uh, we'll come back with the next fight.
My name's back here. <laughs> he was going to drop now. Ethan's gone. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. We're about to get the first fight underway. As you can see Mr. Jody right now entering into the ring. He has his microphone in here, which is microphone in Turkish. For anybody wondering. I have Ethan GB UK. Very nice. Have our officiators in now and our medics ringside. And we are getting ready. Ready, ready, ready. Like I said, we've got some amazing guests. We'll probably see and hear from some of them today very soon. Carlin Gibbs has just entered the building. That's what we like to see. Also, apologize for the uh, silence that would have been happening for a little bit because Ethan turned the mic off. <laughs> but it's fine. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. And we are getting ready to have this first fight. As soon as Ethan, Mr. Ethan GBUK, gets his buttocks back to the commentary table. Big ups, Connor. Big ups. Like I said, like I said earlier, big, big, big thank you. Big shout out to everybody who's messaged us today. Big shout out to everybody who's been showing their support. It means a lot. We wouldn't have put this on if it wasn't for you guys and, and us wanting to put on a really good event for you guys. What a bad boys, Beeman's boys right there. Asking what the crack is with the fight. But yeah, no, there's been a lot of work put in by myself, Ethan, Jalen, Morgan. And it's all gonna pay out today. Big shout out to Connor Knowles. Connor Knowles is one of the most supportive geezers. He has been one of the most supportive people while we've been uh, getting all this sorted, getting it ready. He has never ever said a bad word about us. And every single time that someone's tried to talk about us, he's been there ready to defend with hammer and shield, fire and sword, absolute vengeance he'll come down on you with. Big ups Connor and congratulations on the little girl. No, it happened a little while ago, but you know, still. Yeah, yeah. The ref's ready for a scrap, 100%. <laughs> Hamez has not fought yet. The first fight will be starting very, very soon. I'm gonna go shout at some people. Enjoy whatever music you can hear in the background and whatever random noises from patrons and ticket holders.
back. Unfortunately, I'm back, guys. Um, what's the chat saying? How are we doing, guys? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's. What's, what, what's the chat saying? Uh, Connor's a reason the team exists. Us so acknowledge him quickly. Yep, yeah, big ups, Connor. I've got much love for my uh, my guy, Connor Knowles. You know, what a guy, hey? Your mother's favorite fire over the entire UK scene. You know what? I, I honestly, I don't blame you for saying that, um, Lesra. Woo, Ethan GB UK. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, Let's go. Let's, uh, yeah, so it'll be starting very soon, guys. Obviously, you know, sorry for uh, all, all the difficulties we've been having. Give that Lair S shaped spine man off of the mic. All right, Schmuck Schmedley, all right? Come on. I, I will. I know where you live, Schmuck. Um, uh, it's all kicking off in the chat. You guys are all beefing each other. When does it start? We'll be starting very shortly, guys. It's just, hey, we got Vim over here. Vim, when's it starting? It's starting in just a moment. Starting in just a moment. You heard it from... Cowboy, stop trolling in chat, please. Who? Cowboy's just... Shut up, Cowboy! You can see him just there on the stream. <laughs> Let him get off his phone. Fox is at the event looking for Broke Smelly. He is. He is. Fox is... He's out for a hunt, you know? Which is kind of ironic, seeing as he's a fox. Fox? A fox. Do I have time to go to Spoons quick, quick before it starts? Um, yes, go, go to Spoons, Ben, please. Get a, um, get a pint. Even must Chapel, Wildcast 2. Hey, I mean, I'd fight Chapel, you know. Come on, thank you. Thank you very much, Pat. I appreciate that. Um, Love you, man. <laughs> yeah, so, you know what? Yeah, Kyle, Kyle, don't talk to me. I know where you live, Kyle, all right? Yo. What's the uh, uh, It's like very short, mate. Like, I haven't got a quick time frame, but. Any more passes? Any more passes? Well, I. I don't know. <laughs> You, you'll be good. Yeah, you'll be good with that. It's fine. What's the name? What's the start? Oh, are they all the different cameras? Yeah, so that's bit. That's yeah. That's kind of just everything. So. so how do you switch to each one? Uh, I'm not gonna do it now because it's yeah, no, no, Obviously, no. You, you click on each one and it kind of transitions you. So. Oh, okay, no. Will Ethan be able to get through a fight without throwing his head guard? No, no, I won't. Brooke, Brooke, I got a quick question for you, Brooke. How's the new Canada the Goose treating you? Is it a nice coat, Brooke? Your Canada the Goose. It's a lovely coat with all that money you made from the uh, from the most wanted fight. Yeah, I love it, mate. Uh, big love to all my brothers over at Outcast. Big love to you, Connor. You know, I mean, shame you can't be here today, but mate, next one, I want you there. How's it going, Zavi? It's nice to see you again. Obviously, good luck for your fight on DKM. Here with Vim, chat to chat. All right, so this fight will be taking place momentarily. We are literally just waiting for the medic to show back up because she decided to take a little walk. Cool, all right. <laughs> hey, but don't worry guys, once the first fight starts, they will come soon enough, you know? It's... Get jo Jody, stop, stop scrapping the ref, please. I think, it, yeah, come on. There's a boy. <laughs> Ethan, can we fight? Brooke, you know that, you know, a fight between us, there's no point. I'll beat your little ass, you know, and I'll, I'll take Kelly into her broom closet as well, all right? So. Menix vs for fan, hey, you know, um, I'd love to see it, you know, fan, fan better fight soon. Have you got 
PTSD for or anything. I've just got that in there. Oh, I've got a USB. I just need like the actual yeah. thing for my oh, phone. No, I don't, I don't actually have one. <laughs> there, there's some USB things over there, but obviously I doubt you want to be over there the whole night, so. Yeah, no. No, awesome. I forgot this was on tonight, Lamar. I guess I'm not going. <laughs> you know what, Halford? You've been very busy. You know, you got your whole. You're running across the country, Halford. You know, prepare for that. Watch it from home. We love you. All right. Oh, Vim's, with, Vim's here with an update. What are we doing? With any update, I just need to. We're not. Oh. Why is that? Mm. I was messed up. Have you closed anything? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Hey, you know what? It's fine, Dan. It is what it is. You know, I'm gonna I'll take over your job as commentary, alright? <laughs> you bet hey, you better come to the next one, Dan, or otherwise it's on site. When is Jake Forrest fine? Jake Forrest is second fight tonight. He's up after this one, so you know, stick around, see a banger, then you see your boy Jake Forrest fight. Pull a Mooney on stream Ethan. Yeah, Halford, no one wants to see that. It's <laughs> You know what, Halford, Halford, if you give, if, Halford, I'll give you my PayPal and if you give me £500, I will pull my ass out on stream. <laughs> Jake for a win, come on. Yeah, I'm excited to see Jake fight, you know. Ethan, <laughs> I, people say stuff about my back all the time, Halford, just not my ass. all right? All right, I'll be chair, big All right. All right, you're stuck with me again. We are going to be getting ready right now. I tell you, about two minutes, not even. Okie dokie. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody watching live on YouTube, welcome to the first ever Outcast Boxing! We are live from Birmingham, England, ready to start off the night of fun and a night of boxing, set to make his ring walk first. Please welcome the Demon Boy. He is... Dreams! This is what happened to you. You say I want to live my life. Come here, just step my shoes. I've been on last day, doing the things I normally do. They go for fun of fans. I'm in a short that peak and shoe. I wear a mix and has a face. Come like peak and boot. I say wanna live my life, but I'm here to step my shoes. I beg what lost the day, do the things I normally do. They go what fun the fans, I'm in shot like Pikachu. I wear me make sure you have your face, come like Pikachu. Excuse me, what, darling, let me take you France. Are you your friend? I'll bring my friend and we should have a love. In the race, I'm coming first, but I bet I'm coming last. I'll be your king, you be my queen, come to the public cars. I like my peace so junky, funky, come on the first of junky. I like my girls that like motor, motor, come on big and chunky. Come down the money, moon, so don't get me grumpy. Cause cash at home, in the trunk, don't want to stay at home. Give me a break, give me a break, that kick cat. Go crease my shoes, that big cat. Go wash that, go fix that. If it's all a cup of lip cat, go whisk it, go whisk it. My number is wearing a lip thing, I'm trying to wear a gift thing. Rap, rap is my hobby, they don't get give us money. My life is not going to chat, watch your back, you hear it, don't you? Swear to God, you're freaking big, back, I'm not trying to bug me. She young, she cute, she come like Molly Lane. I want the more like all the good. I'm living sad and sad with a knife and sad, he's taking a piss. That's not the life I live, I take the love and take the risk. I need 
he was in the gym we go and go and rap she made a change of kids she said when I did my math so I'm here to set my shoes I've been on rock the day doing the things I want to do they go and fight a fight and somebody show that thing to you I'm wearing these she had a day from that thing to do she said when I did my math so I'm here to set my shoes I'll be on rock the day doing the things I want to do they go and fight a fight and somebody show that thing to you I'm wearing these she had a day from that thing to do Let's go. I think I'll bring on that time you came here tonight. Thank you all for the fighters. Respect. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent for tonight. Fighting out of the red corner. Please, massive round of applause for Braveheart! <laughs> Like I said, first fight of the evening. Three two-minute rounds in a catchweight bout to start off our night, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, introducing our referee, most importantly, Luke Baines, who will be officiating most of our matches tonight. Thank you very much, Luke. Now, introducing first again in the blue corner. He's wearing the green, white, and gold trim. He weighed at 67 kilograms even. His record is one fight and one draw. Tonight, he looks for his first smell of a W, first smell of a victory. Nice and loud once again for the Demon Boy, his dream. And his opponent out in the red corner. He is wearing the silver, sorry, the gray and black. He weighed at 72.3 kilograms. His record, three fights, one win, one draw, one loss. Nice and even. Tonight, he looks for another. Fighting out of Newham, England. Give it nice and loud once again for Braveheart. <laughs> Please I say break, please break. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner that I tell you to and stay there until I tell you to come out. Would you like to touch gloves? And we begin with round one. It is obviously me, Ethan GB UK here on commentary. I'm here with Lord Jalim himself. How are you doing, Jalim? I'm all right. I think this is going to be an absolute banging. I feel like these guys have really high skill for the level that they're at. Second out, round one. And it starts. You know, we've got Braveheart versus Fred in the day. Fred in the scrap. They're, they're not even going to let me talk. <laughs> they're just man, this is action constantly. Obviously, this I feel is... like there's going to be a massive strength advantage to Braveheart. Because yeah. obviously, we are fighting at a catch rate here. So big up to Trem's for, you know, taking on someone who has a massive weight advantage. I think he's been hit back of the head, maybe? I I have no idea what happened at the start, if I'm no, being honest with you. Very yeah, quick. That's why, that's why we've got medics on standby straight away. Yeah, I mean, hey, there it is. But, uh, damn. I, I don't think I've been prepared to say anything in this situation, have we? No, not at all. It's also gone very silent in here, so... Yeah, I think I think it's just kind of a rogue glove that it's got, it's got caught. Be, uh... and, uh, That's 
why you need medics on standby. That. That's exactly why you need them. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we are operating within like, full safety tonight. Professional, Professional medics. medics. Big um, up CSL. I think CSL uses guys as yeah, well. I think, I think yeah. they do. Obviously, that's a that's a white, uh, I guess a white collar promotion here in Birmingham, CSM. Yeah, in a way, yeah, it's like quite uh, definitely some big It's like bigger, like small spa. And I think he came up. Oh, that is Ben oh, Rule really? a... Well, yeah, obviously oh. Trems has been forced to retire, I guess, which is that was a very first, that was a very fast first fight. But we'll uh, take it over to Jody now to uh, announce the results. Ladies and gentlemen, from the referee's decision, as he has just told me, he has declared that the blue corner is unable to continue. So your winner from the first round is Braveheart! Commiserations to Trims. Big ups to Trims, he took us on short no. notice. Brave. It is what it is. Stuff like this happens, just... Now... Not much transpired of it. We barely saw both of you go in in any ways. But what exactly happened there? Because it's very unclear to some of us on the stream. I don't know what happened. Um, we just both went for it. Um, and I gave him a hook. And then he said, up oh, his head. So, um, Was he claiming back of the head? No, he said, I hit him right there. Head I hit him in his temple. Okay. Well, you said to me backstage that you haven't been fighting in a while. Mm -hmm. Does this give you the taste again? I know it's very oh, brief. I'm getting back into it. I'm million percent. This was uh, this was me getting back into it. So this is my first thing, and I'm just gonna train and go hard. To be honest, that's literally what I, what my aim is. Is there anyone that you want to call out after this? Um, I'm not too sure at the moment. I've not really been had my eye on the boxing game and stuff. On um, Little pause moment there. Sorry, my well, mind just gone blank. But yeah, I'll, I will have a look, and I'm I'm probably gonna. I'm sorry, my mind's gone blank. It's fine. It's fine. I'll try to but yeah, um, it's I'm fine. Gonna, I'm gonna have a look and just decide. Um, I Rega think there's one in summer, so. Regardless whether your mind's gone blank or not, whether you can say or not, you can say that you've won a fight yeah. now. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you very Hope much. Hope to see you soon again. Oh, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Braveheart. <laughs> Our next bout will be here shortly. Well, I can guarantee that nobody saw that going that way, huh? Did you see it? I don't know. Let us know. Hit us up on Twitter. At Outcast Boxing. Yeah? That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. That's a very interesting, interesting offer that we've just been given by somebody setting up ringside, part of Bad Boy Beeman's team. Very, very interesting offer there that I'm going to have to go talk to Jalam about. So, yeah. But um, I'll leave you to listen to the, to the tunage for a minute, and maybe Jody will talk to you. But uh, for now, I need to go get this next fight going. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from my point of view, it was very brief, very quick. From the referee's decision and discussion he had with me, as he's had many, 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 many years of experience, he declared that it was a clean shot that did take um, Trims to the medical of the uh, doctor at ringside. So it does still count as a clean win. Very confusing because it all happened so very quickly. But hopefully soon we will have our next oh, fight it was, coming. <laughs> it was, it really was. Obviously, you were kind of well, you, you were kind of near ring when that happened, right? What what happened? I will be perfectly honest. As I left the ring, I saw it behind me. I didn't see the shot. 
but I had a discussion with the referee. He said it was a clean shot that got Trims out of there. So therefore, it still counts as a win. So Braveheart, we can technically say, has now got two wins on his record. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what, first round KO? Do you know, what, what second did that even happen in? I didn't have any time to process what I'm, just happened. From my general point of view, I would have said in the first 10 seconds. Not, I don't know specifically which one, but it was in the first 10 seconds of the bout. I mean, Jack just boxing. If you're watching right now, someone's come for your record of uh, <laughs> how fast we can get stopped in a fight. So honestly, you know what? Trems versus Jack does boxing next. You know, who gets out there sooner? It'd would be, you, see, would you watch quick, it? It'd be the quickest boxing match in history. You put it they, in a YouTube short. <laughs> get as well records. It would be, yeah. Yeah. But no, obviously, jokes aside, much love to Trems. I know he, his heart's amazing. Much love to Jack does as well. Yeah. Because I know I, I, Jack <laughs> has come back. I know Jack will come back. Yeah. But, um, but first fight done relatively quickly. Very surprising to us. Very surprising to everyone. Yeah, well, I was like, uh, like I have notes written down for every fight, right? I was getting ready to, you know, spit some commentary riz. And it just stopped out of nowhere. So I kind of got blue balled in that sense. But... Hmm. It is... It's a, it's a bizarre start. Yeah. But then again, do you expect anything different from a show called Outcasts? Exactly. You know, we like we aren't a regular boxing show. Exactly. We're, we're very much here for the entertainment, you know, and we're always here just for kind of, like, you know, doing something, you know, yeah. building towards something bigger than what we actually are. Obviously, we came around with the whole influence of boxing resurgence, you know, with Misfits and... You know, we aren't trying to be like Misfits, we're trying to be like Outcast. We're in, we exist in the same realm, you know, especially alongside DKM Rising Stars and Breakout. And there's so many other promotions yes. that exist. And it's one of those things where we're not going to get the most technical fights. Yeah. We'll have a few technical fights, don't get me wrong. I see some technical fights that could happen on later in the cast. Exactly. They could us wrong. But ultimately, we're just hip entertainment, and you yes. know, and good scraps, you know, fair scraps as well. It is what it is. Stuff happens. That's what, like, there's one thing that keeps you going in life. That's just saying shit happens and I move on. If anything, for you lot all watching at home and everyone watching around ringside, this gives you a taste of more. You want more now. You want more than just that. Obviously, we do as well, because we want to give you the best show possible. So, please don't go anywhere. The next fight will be here as soon as we can get it. And obviously, I'm now going to go take a second and read chat, see what they're saying. What what an amazing start to an amazing event, guys, right? Even as such a way it works, honestly, dude, uh, you know you know what? I actually got a uh, I got a B in English literature, so uh, <laughs> God damn it. Hey. Yeah, you know, next fight will be starting very shortly. Uh, next fight we have, obviously, is uh, it's Jakey versus Hamish. It's uh, it's one of those things. Um, good scrap, I hope. Ethan can I fight? Hot fight? If you you know what, Sean, get your ass over to the UK. We could yeah, get your ass over to the UK. We'll set something up for you. You know. Good luck to all the lads. Thank you very much, Brand of the Bummer. You know. Big ups to you as well. I, I hope you're doing well on your journey. Hodgkiss rematch. Yeah, I mean, you guys should run that back, Dan. Um, Hodgkiss might be able to pull up an upset. Ethan vs Vim IMO, dude, um, 
I would not want to fight Vim. That guy is a scary motherfucker. He is... Yeah, no. Cal, do you want me to die or something? Because I feel like that's what you're trying to hint at. Ethan, I'll ask you a question, man. Sorry, what was your question? Can I fight? Yes. Um, Harms, just, just DM any of our accounts, okay? Where's Hammers' fight? Hammers' fight, that is the fifth fight of the night. So we've still got a bit of a way to go, but let's make it happen. Who's fighting next? All right, Caleb, who's fighting next? We, we have Jakey Boy versus Hamish. Uh, banger fight going on. I never want you to lie my goat. Yeah, I don't want you to lie either, Cal. You know, good, good luck. For you. Obviously, you got your fight against that little rat, Mr. Boxing scene on uh, DKM next month. I'm excited to see you fight, mate. When is a business fight? A business fighting later on of the night. Obviously, it's our co-main event. We still have five more fights to go through. So, you know, there's a long way to go, but hey, stick around. We've got a good show going on tonight. compared to Mighty Worthen. Leo, I honestly think those two places are in like a tight neck and neck. The worst place I've ever been to. Worthing I went to and I got beat the shit out of me. Like it just, it wasn't good. I came to Birmingham. Um, it was even shitter, I'll be honest. But I'd say the neck and neck about how bad these towns are. Uh, Dan talks fighting. Will you even fight again? Yes, Dan, I will fight. I will fight Trey Ingram on the... I'll fight, you know what, I'll fight Trey Ingram on the DKM UK vs US card. That's my stake, I'm putting it out there in the world. Someone make it happen. You lot apple juice or orange juice? Then what do we like? Apple juice or orange juice? Oh, I'm an apple juice kind of guy I, myself. I'm an apple juice kind of guy myself, you know. I feel like orange juice is a bit, it's got a bit of thickness to it. It doesn't go down well. Orange. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I'm more of an apple juice guy, personally. Yeah, come on, Callum. Come on. Yeah, I've seen, you know what, I think we're all apple juice lovers in here. I really do think we are. Come on, yes, apple juice. My goat, my goat. I love you all. If anyone says orange juice, I will come to your house. I know where everyone lives, so. You know what, Shan? Shan, you've disappointed me today. We will drag Trey out. You, you better, Sean. Grab him by the scruff of his beard and bring him on over. Chapel, come on. Big up, Chapel. Much love. Banana juice, yeah, you know what, Chapel? How do I ban someone from chat? I'm gonna ban you from chat, Chapel. We have a uh, big Morgan Reeves up on the up on ringside right there. You know, um, big up. Who's fighting next? We have Jakey Boy versus. <laughs> Sorry, can he even pretend to be Mary, Mary Mysterio in the ring? I shit you not. I went into a ring when it was getting set up, and I ran the ropes. I hit six one nine on Jalen, and I gave him another concussion. You know, Hans, you saying orange juice really invalidates your place on fighting on the next card. 
Oh yeah, yeah, man like Aaron Carey, how are we going? Oh no, I'm being hurried off my seat. Yeah. Am I being hurried off my seat? Yeah, get on my seat. Alright, cool. <laughs> Take it away, Vim. and gentlemen we move on to our next fight of the evening set to make his ring what first please welcome hamish tv You know, he's, he's hyped, he's ready to go. I'm excited for this one, you know? And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome his opponent, Jake Forrest! Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to our next fight. Three two minutes two minute rounds in the super middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting on my right side in the blue corner. He, he wears the green and black. He weighs at 76.8 kilograms. His record, five fights, five defeats, but tonight. He looks for his first win, and he wants to earn it the best way he knows how. Please, massive round of applause for Hamish TV! And his opponent, fine on the left side of me in the red corner. He weighed at 74.6 kilograms. He is wearing the blue with white trim. He has no current fights as this is his debut in boxing. Please give him a massive round of applause to Jake 
Forest! Fighters meet in the middle with referee Luke Bates. Right, fellas, I'm sure you both know the rules, but I'm here to remind you of them. Watch shots to the back of the head. Watch the low blows. In case of a knockdown, please go to the neutral corner that I tell you to. If I say break, please break. Right, fellas, I want a boxing match here. I don't just want to scrap, okay? Please, box for me. I don't want to be jumping in between you both all the time, all right? Let's put on a good show for everybody, okay? Touch gloves. Best of luck to both of you. We begin with round one of this fight. Now, the ref obviously said it was a boxing match. I'm not sure if that's what we'll get tonight, but who knows? Obviously, this one is in the super middleweight division. It's going to be a banger. Second round. Round one. Jakey with a clinch. Now, obviously, uh, both these fighters are fighting each other at kind of a late notice. Obviously, there's been a full pullout. Great discrepancy. Hamish is really laying it on here. He drops by there. Hell yeah. Obviously, we've got Vim Young on commentary. Uh, what, what do you make of this fight so far? It's a bit scrappy, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to calculate, obviously. see what's going on. Hamish has obviously been in here before. It's not his first rodeo. You know, we have a five fight. That was a big, big left hand from uh, Hamish there. And now, Hamish has kind of a stack corner, doesn't he? He does, he does. He's, uh, he's four man deep. A uh, few cameramen. We've got a. Uh, we obviously fought Finn, shout out to Finn, yeah. and Morgan Reeves, obviously, uh, our, our go. These are some big shots coming from Jake, but it's big, big jumps from Hamish. See, Jake's good. He, he's, yeah, he, he's good at his, his defense is good, the way he's moving, it's very nice. I, I did see there was a bit where Hamish's foot went off the ring, <laughs> and obviously, if Jake had connected then, it would have been a nice guy Hamish. Oh, definitely. So, well, that was a nice shot from Jake. Yeah. Obviously, we are fighting in 16 ounce gloves, no head guards, so. But hey, uh, still a great scrap. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, still, yeah, again, still shots being thrown. The ref didn't get that boxing fight. I don't think he's ever going to get that boxing fight, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real, yeah. <laughs> Bang of a fast round. That was that was, that was simply amazing. I um, Hamish came out large, winging. Jakey, I think, has kept a lot more composure during this fight, and I think we'll see the effects of that first round carry on for the next. How the money? We'll see us carry on for the next few rounds. How many rounds? See, carry on to the next two rounds. I, I made a bit of a stumble there with one of my notes. So, uh, whoever prepared this, you set me up for fail, and I will find you. You've got a bit more experience with this, mate, don't you? You, you know boxing. Yeah, no, I'm just, no. you know, I'm just moral support, as someone would say. So, it's a very good fight so far, though. 100%. Can't, uh, can't knock this fight. We've got Hamish, he's going in there, he's trying to prove himself. We've also got Jake, he's going in there, trying to prove himself. But for very, very different reasons. Yeah, and like I was saying before, obviously, Hamish, he went out absolutely swinging that first round. I think now we're starting to see the negative ROI on that. You know, uh, the investment didn't pay off. Yeah. But he could pull it back, you know, hit second win. It looks like Hamish is getting but, tired now. Though. Yeah. Some big, slow punches. That he, he, he does need that second win. He needs to 
you know, just do anything to try and swing him back. Because right now, Jakey is long, though. Like, yeah. He's got the reach advantage, he's got the height advantage. There's not that much of a weight difference between the two. Kalish does weigh a little bit more than Jakey. But well, it's not a crazy difference. They like Ethan said before. Like Ethan said before, this fight is in 16 ounces, so everything does seem a little bit more collective. They're still throwing hard punches. They're, I mean, 16 ounces, 16 ounces hurt, like, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very great. Oh, big shots from Jake right now. Can he capitalize on it? Oh, and Hamish is following it up. Oh my god, they're slugging it out. This is Rock and Soul. Oh, oh, I, I think we got a bit dangerous. Right 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 yeah. You just, oh my god. Oh, Hamish just screamed at him. Man. I, I think it's that like Celtic wow. energy in these guys. Oh, are going to oh, yeah. Incredible. into the third and final round. This is where it all matters. You know, it's the culmination of the last two rounds just happens right now. And quite simply, I, I, I think either, because I, I'm not really sure who's winning right now. Like, you know, I, I say Jake Company won that first round. The Hamish rolled him in the second. They even need to use all their energy to go into this third round of knockout, or you know, they long it out and see the get decision. It's a very, very good fight. I'm almost sad that they were not getting four rounds out of this. Do you reckon we get the fourth round on? Surprise me for rain. Surprise fourth round. No. Obviously, corners, get, corners are getting very larry right now. Yeah. So is the way of boxing. Definitely, definitely. This is Ooh. the thing, you've got Hamish, he's still trying to pull off those big movements, but he's tired, he's tired. Yeah. Beat this. This has material. made up for it. This is definitely made up for that first fight. Just two lads scrapping. That's all we want, really. I don't know if we'll see another fight as exciting as this one. And the rest of the call for time. That is the end of the third and final round. I, I can't make a comfortable to sit like prediction of who's won that, I genuinely don't know. And, you know, maybe that's because of my inexperience with boxing. 
but I, I think it's been fairly even so far. I, I'd say I'll probably give it more to Hamish because he did wobble Jake. He did wobble him, but round. I feel like Jake. I don't know if it's just me who was paying Jake, more attention to Mr. Blue Shorts, but <laughs> I feel like he could have definitely uh, outweighed Hamish there. Yeah, hundred percent. And obviously now we leave it to judges' decision. Honestly, I think no matter who wins, they both want to on arguably what I think might be fight of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to say anything else. What a great fight. Massive round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> the referee has made a decision. Your winner. Hey, Mr. <laughs> There we go. I mean, I, I really think it was that shot in the second round that won him in that fight because Jesus Christ did he wobble him. I thought he would have went down. Obviously, I think he used ropes to hold on to it. I see people in the chat saying one more round, one more round. I wish we could have seen another round of that because yeah. that was an absolutely banging fight. Yeah. I will be shocked I, if we see one that is, is action. We will have, we will have, have like, some words Shelton with Hamish Boy, TV as soon as he is checked, checked by, by our medical officer. Exactly. Same with Hamish. Coming in on his debut and he's coming and he's absolutely Hamish, showed come up. And join showed me. Up, absolutely smashed it against somebody with five well fights done. as well. Exactly. Hamish, you said to he's, me he's finally won. All that matters. This was your moment. You wanted this. I think more than anything I've ever seen from you. You finally, we can finally say it. You have your first ever boxing win. How does it feel? It feels fucking amazing. I told everyone that I would win at some point, no matter how many times it takes. I did say my last fight, my time will come. I guess I was a man of my word because my time has finally come. And I'm so happy and grateful. It's meant everything to me. I've always wanted this. Obviously, you and Jake just went to war, but have you got a new level of respect for him? And what did he surprise you with? Anything? You know what? He stayed composed. He kept at it. You know, he had that energy. When he roared at me, I loved that energy. He brought the fire. That's what I like. I've got massive respect for him. Massive respect. Everyone has massive respect for you now. One more time, Hamish TV! <laughs> This is Hammers Bueno, beef in Italian striker who's in the ring. Uh, obviously, Hammers was supposed to be fighting yeah, Italian striker. Yeah, to be uh, fighting Italian striker, so it's very, very interesting the fact he's mouthing out in front of the ring. But hey, we had to see how Hammers goes on tonight, you know? I think Carlin and Hamish just faced off of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations again. It is all kicking off tonight here at Outcast 001. We will be getting the next fight underway very, very soon. You might have, well, you might have been able to see it just a little bit down that side of the corner, that side of the ring. We had Mr. Carlin Gibbs, Hamish TV's original opponent. Um, uh, and and let's, let's, let's just say 
that uh, Carl isn't too happy about uh, their fight not happening. There was a big build up to that, so they're definitely looking to do it in the future. But uh, yeah, it's all heating up and it's all kicking off. The next fight will start very soon, and I'll leave you with that. Boys, I'm back, I'm back. How are we doing? Yeah, I thought that I thought that the uh, the, uh, the Hamish fight was really good. It was it was a banger. But you know, we're just uh what's the chat saying by the way? I see Umbear here, big up Umbear. Waiting the the next fight that we have going on. The next fight. Too sure what's going on. Hello, Leo. How are you doing, mate? We're not too sure what's happening with it right now, but I'm just finding out what is happening with the next fight because we have had Carlin's opponent decide to not show up right now. Yeah. Every fight is in 16 ounces as well, Samuel. Yeah. No. We we've uh, I think we've officially had like a first ever no show, which is awesome. You know. I mean. Because hey, at least with most wanted, he showed up. He just didn't come out. But no, someone just someone just dipped. So Ethan can I have an autograph. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll sign you mum's tits, Cal. When is Carlin on? We are currently awaiting Carlin's opponent uh, to actually show his face. So, someone's done the most wanted. What? Well, um, but most wanted made it to the venue. This guy hasn't. So, God knows. We're just trying to figure something out and see what's happening. Uh, happy birthday to Finn's Fish, uh, also known as his mother's vagina. Hey, big up Alpha Plug. Uh, I'm assuming that's Angus. Love you, man.
I'm sorry, Finn. Your mother's a very lovely person. She just needs to sort it out, all right? Come better spot. Hey, big up Kian. Kian, man, how's it going? J Sports Takes, how's it going, man? It's good to see you here. Turn the lights off. Um, let me go get some for that. Get up there, Ethan. Honestly, I would. I'm um, this chair is too comfortable, Kian. All right. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to see Lewis Smale. He's uh, currently up in this changing room, but you know, I'll, I'll tell him that you said good luck. All right. What you missed? So far, we we missed uh, arguably one of the shortest fights in the scene: uh, Trems versus Braveheart. Uh, you know, Trems versus Jack was boxing next. And then we obviously, we have, uh, we had Jakey Boy versus Hamish. Hamish won, you know, brilliant fight. Get up in the ring. Stop telling me to get in the ring. Um, Alright, cool. Someone fight with DJ. It's JST's playlist, all right? Take up with Jay. Uh, he thought you think about me versus Dantle's fighting. Is he good? Dan Talks Fighting is a very good fighter, okay? Very good. Um, I reckon it'd be a good fight. Cowboy <laughs> Cowboy oiled up. I, I, I will oil up Cowboy soon enough, alright? Oil up dance. Why, why are we oiling up people? Why are we doing this? They're not Dana White. I'm not oiling up anyone. I I might oil up Dan for not sh uh, showing up. So. Me versus Ethan. Cow, I do not want the smoke or the stench. Yeah, Harms, get to training and, you know, we'll get you on one of these shows. So Jack doesn't do boxing, he's not fighting today. I just think he should fight Trems to give a winner of the shortest fight ever. Let me commentate. Umber, Umber. Uh, on our next show, I'll, I'll DM you something, uh, you know, we'll get you up commentating. We are just waiting for more news about his opponent. Good luck, Lewis from Liam. Hey, shout out. Lewis has a lot of love happening in this chat today. I'm glad to see it. Call from you, lad. I'm there. I know where you live, bro. Don't test me. Big up, Gary Olive. Big up, YG. Uh, we, we are currently waiting on more news because we might have someone, but we just have to wait and see, alright guys? Uh, 
There's not much more I can do from a commentary desk right now, but, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying. Hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm entertaining you guys, I hope. <laughs> There's only one Gary Olive, there is only one Gary Olive. What a, what a mythical creature Gary is, you know? Gary Olive Tubby? That's quite ironic, fan. That's quite ironic. podcast honestly um leo me and you should start a podcast bro we are i i think i've got news coming right now what's the up what's an update then give us the up give us the update what's happening So we have Big Vim getting into the ring. Right, I just want to take a quick moment to apologize for the delay at the moment. We are currently waiting on an opponent to see if an opponent shows up for Mr. Carlin Gibbs because his opponent hasn't showed up. This is possibly, I think, the fourth pullout he's had now. So um, not great, not great. But we're going to get him in the ring as soon as we can. And uh, if not, then we are making sure that Lewis Alpha Smale and Mr. Mason Brown are um, getting themselves ready so they can, they can get in a fight. So if there's a bit of a delay, that's because, yeah, it's that. So I just thought I'd update you. So kisses. Hamez is a bitch. There we go. Big ups. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I turned off the music for that, in all honesty, because no one in the arena heard it. The arena? Then you. Then you heard it. Bait out the opponent name. Uh, ben Pryor, you might be the biggest bitch I've seen in my whole entire life. And I haven't even seen you. So, that's the opponent name. Don't harass him, please, but... <laughs> no, Shan, Shan, I'll tell you what, right? The, <laughs> so the guy who didn't send him a fire picture, he pulled out almost immediately. So we got another guy, and that, that guy has not shown up. So, mm, wonderful. Uh, it is Carlin, who currently does not have a match. I think we're getting something sorted. So, no, Connor, Connor, it's not a... It's not a last minute um, pull out, it's the last minute didn't show up. It's not a mystery opponent either. I don't know, the guy just didn't show up. Like, I've, I've never seen some <laughs> even step in. <laughs> I might have to, you know, I might have to. What's crack? Oh. Right. Cool. Yeah, we will be getting very shortly. We'll be getting Mason and Lewis down here in the ring to obviously have a fight. So we're going to carry on with the night, and you know, stuff happens.
Yeah, I, I, I think it's... <laughs> obviously, I've had, yeah, I don't know. It's just... Why would you know show a boxing fight? Like, just don't say yes to a box fight in the first place. It's, it's honestly... Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But Lewis and Mason will be up next. Is what it is. We carry on with the night and we keep going. I mean, it's certainly a tactically. I wouldn't imagine that happened. But uh, no, I, I think we, you know, we're just going to go into the Lewis Smale fight versus Mason and you know see what's up from there. Plenty more fights still Hammers, so obviously we've got the Lewis versus Mason fight, and then it will be Hammers Bueno versus 20M Rose. So after this, uh, after the Lewis fight, we go on. Is it over? It's not over. We still got more fights to come up. We're just getting the fighters ready right now. Fave Celebration Chocolate. Um, Celebration is the Cadbury's one, I believe. Uh, I really, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Dinky Decker. I think Dinky Decker is just, you know, it's got all the good parts of the Double Decker, but not as much of it, so. But yeah, every, everyone say your favorite Celebration Chocolate in the chat and we'll, we'll get a discussion going on. Antonio O'Shea is uh, currently still in Worthing, which is probably the best for him because I do not want him to be in Birmingham, as I don't want anyone to be in Birmingham. What a dreadful place. Kinder Bueno is not in the in the celebration chocolate, so Shay. So Yeah, obviously, the next fight we have going on is Lewis Smell versus Mason. Lewis is just warming up, he's getting ready, he's getting pumped. Obviously, it's a bit weird because they didn't expect to come out so soon, but they are. 
and so we're just giving him time to warm up. So. Hurry up, Lewis, mate. Yeah, he, he does need to get a shift on, actually, that Lewis. So. Uh, oh, oh, wait. No, the celebrations. Oh, I got the celebration thing wrong. The celebration uh, is not Cadbury's. The, the box is red, okay? I've got the wrong chocolate here. Um, favorite celebration? I've, you know what, Maltese. I like the Maltese one. Tom Bell is he's certainly a heavyweight. Obviously, he's fighting on DKM Rising Stars next month. So, against fighting with Jay, I believe it is. I think that's going to be a good fight. So, What's the update, Vim? The update is we can't currently find Carl and another opponent. We've offered him two more, um, and he's declined them, which is totally fair. He's within his right to. They have a lot more experience, considering this is his debut. So uh, we are going to move on to the next fight on the card and see if we can figure something else out in the meantime. Awesome. There we go. Uh, unfortunate that this has happened. You know, like, we don't like to see it. Shit happens. Shit happens. That is definitely, that's definitely the way that you can say it. Shit definitely does happen. And it wouldn't be a proper event if shit didn't happen. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the night's been good so far. Obviously, we, we are too fights deep right now, you know, we we started off the night with Trends versus Braveheart. Braveheart won in like spectacular fashion, you know, like it was just so quick. It was over before I could even think. Um, then we had Hamish versus Jakey Boy, a wonderful scrap, you know, big bangs being thrown everywhere and yeah, obviously Hamish pulled it off, pulled off a W, first W. So we got we got big Vim in the ring now. Okay, um, I was going to call with them, give it. And they said that they are filming now to fight. So, uh, it's up to you. Say some words. Almost broke the ring. Cool. So, as everyone knows in this SVC small players, it's all about fights that bring hype and that bring eyes to the team. The most anticipated fight in the team has never happened it was me. Versus his big, fat, floppy titty retard called Callum Bell. Now, for six months, this guy talked the biggest shit on the internet. He went out of his way to upset every single person that was alive and unfortunately died in my family. And then, a week before, I was on the way to the moon. So, Callum, a message from Cowboy Shoe. 
not all fake converts in the uh, in the stream trolling by the way. Good to the fat virgin. So, Callum, if you're ready to put your big boy pants on in the summer, maybe if you're a bit skinny, we can run a go for me like most wanted, and we can uh, get you up there, we can rent a double room just so you and your fat bird can stay in the same place at once. And then uh, I can beat the living shit out of you in front of your mum and dad, how about that? If you want to get on, hopefully we can make it happen good. 100% of course, that. 100%. Outcast, hello to Callum Bella. Actually, no, sorry. Cowboy Stu versus Callum Bella. Definitely. I'll even let you be A side for one so you can fill the pool, man. Ah, there we go. Callum, we're looking to hear from you. We should have been here tonight, bro. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy days. That's definitely something to get looking forward to. It's going to be amazing. Now, we're going to get out of the ring. So we have two other big boys in here. So a big scrap. I mean, personally, I thought we would be getting a fatal four-way between Cowboy, Mason, Lewis, and them, but you know, ring might break, so it's probably not safe to do that. But yeah, we're, we're coming up with Lewis versus Mason. That, that's such an exciting fight, especially when it's a heavyweight division. Who knows what's going to happen?
We are currently waiting for the fighters for the next fight to warm up. It will be any second now. So just keep waiting, guys. It's going to be worth it. Chizzy has not fought yet. Chizzy is our main event and he will be fighting. Last, we have, I want to say, four more fights to go through. So, just, he'll be out soon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get ready. I say we're about to get ready. I keep saying that. We're about to get ready. See Jody getting in the ring. You see Jody getting in the ring, don't you? Yeah, you do. 100% you do. Mason Brown entering the ring there. He's been very calm and collected this whole time. Fighting out of the right corner, Lewis! 
Heavyweight division, Lewis Smell versus Mason Brown. What are we thinking of this, Ben? Wow, wow, wow! Yeah. Big shots coming from Mason there. Incredible. Oh, the Lewis is answering. Lewis. This is going to be a fight, gentlemen. This is going to be an insane fight. Oh, yeah, Jalen's with us, by the way. I've just appeared. Look at him standing and banging with each other. This is all we like. Lewis said no steps back, and he absolutely meant it. Absolute. Giants He's not giving right Mason now. any chance to step back. He's Wait. in the corner right now. Talk about attack on Titan. <laughs> you know, um, Titan versus Titan right now. Mason is using his footwork. Definitely the lighter individual. Catch him. It's a good shot from Lewis there, though. Oh, He's definitely got a, There's definitely a speed and power battle right now. Definitely. Mason's definitely got a Oh, wow, he just oh. Oh. Mason is not giving in. Mason is bringing a fight to Lewis. I did not see this coming. I think this is the thing about, we're, we're, we're going to see this, right? Lewis being the bigger person, the more powerful shots. Mason, the lighter person. You know, he, he, it looks like Mason might have hurt his shoulder. Oh, oh God. He brought, and this is why we have medics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Lewis somewhere. probably just knocked it straight out of the socket. Most likely. He was pressed into the corner for a moment. Like Mason did take this fight on short notice as well. Yeah, so big ups to Mason, but. We got, <laughs> we got bad boy Beamham talking shit. Obviously, they, these two lads were supposed to fight. The right there, just the corner. Maybe a bit bad taste to shit talk your opponent when he's got a shoulder injury, and it's over. Lewis Smale is 3 0. The crowd has went wild. Unfortunately for Mason, but hey, it is what it is. This is, is boxing, this is what you sign up for. That's what happens, especially when you're going in with somebody. You know, this is heavyweight, it's a different breed of sport here. You know what I'm saying? The heavyweight fights, you know, people weighing in at past night, just past 90, and a way, way, way past 90. You know, I, Lewis definitely did have a big, big weight advantage in this fight. Oh, 100%, you know, hey. And it's all level respect at the end of the day. We think that might the, the medics it might be a dislocation. Okay. They think that's what it might be, so congratulations to Mason Brown. But you went up by technical stoppage. Lewis Nyapa! Yeah, they are certainly Oh, definitely. <laughs> you can hear Lewis's fans and the people he's brought with him going absolutely crazy right now at the other side of the room. And that is why we don't like people from Manchester. <laughs> That's true, though. It's true, 100%. We're not waiting for an hour. It will come up straight away. Trust me. Lewis, neither had a very good chat yesterday about how much this journey has been to you. Do you think that it's come to a happy ending tonight? 
Mason, he said to me, Sean, that Mason, do appreciate it. The only good fight tonight, he said, it's a massive fair play to Mason. I mean, everyone in here can agree, it was free, but it wasn't the TV. Where can we see you back? That ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. I know Big Sam's been trying a lot in the US, and he wants to just run it. I don't want to catch him on Big Shots anymore. The people are training him now. Big Sam, I know you're watching. If you want it, run it. If you want it, run it. Let's go! One more time, Lewis Dunn Alpha Smale! And there we've had the call out from Big Alpha Lewis Smale himself. He is definitely, definitely looking for that Big Sam fight. I know that Big Sam approached me recently in the DMs Our uh, next to one fight. Will be around the corner. Do not go anywhere. You don't want to miss what's next. He got someone to sleep recently. Hey, that was a banging fight. Sick, mate. You cracked him in the first round, you see that? Where's Amos? Now? Yeah. Oh, Hamas will be coming out fighting next. Banging. He was going to go. Like I said, absolutely banger of a fight. That's all we promised today. I know that we didn't have uh, an incredibly long first fight, but we've been delivering so far. Possible dislocation right now. The medics are checking over Mason still. They're just untying his gloves. They've got an ice pack on him. He does look to be in quite a bit of pain right now. Um, it's definitely an unfortunate result for the man, um, especially after he went and got his draw uh, on uh, the midweek madness with HS Tiki Toki and, and, and that whole thing. Um, he was definitely coming back and I think he was looking for that win. But he did, like I said, take this fight on short notice. Uh, big ups to him. Um, Lewis is, is a big guy and he is a, he's a big name in the scene, in the small creator scene. And he is definitely one of the more feared people um, in the scene. But, you know, like I said, well, like he said, in fact, he called out Big Sam. Big Sam hit me up, well, Big Sam's team, I guess, hit me up in the DMs recently saying, your boy Lewis kind of looks good. Oh, my, my, we might want to fight him. So that's definitely something to look forward to. May not happen on here. That's totally fine. They have now got Mason on gas and air, ladies and gentlemen. He is definitely in some pain right now. He is definitely not in a good way. It's looking like this could be a dislocation. They might be trying to pop his arm back in. He is in a lot of pain. It's definitely an unfortunate result for that fight. Definitely, definitely an unfortunate result for him. We obviously don't want anybody to go away injured. Um, and it's boxing, obviously injuries are gonna happen. It's always gonna happen. But we definitely don't like to see fights end like that. Um, and then him to be going away with a possible long-term injury. So hopefully, he'll just wake up with a bit of bruising. But right. I'm going to leave you there with that one. Uh, have a listen to some tunes, and we're going to be going to get... I'm going to go drag Hammers out his changing room.
not fucking there. Oh my god, my man. You guys know where Ethan is? Oh, it's there. It's for Calvin, fucking hell. Boys, the people's main event is starting right now. Well, the, 
the crowd is. Spike fully gum shield now. The, 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 the crowd is electric for Hamas. He's talking shit in the ring. This is Jesus Christ. I'm here returned with, for this fight. <laughs> returned for this fight, Jado. He just talks shit in the ring. Who has done that before? A few maybe, people, maybe, but not many in this scene. Mike Tyson, maybe? <laughs> he, I mean, we, we might have one next Mike Tyson on our hands. Wow, I am. Um, you know, the, the crowd is ecstatic for this lad. You know, we've seen him grow up in front of our eyes, and, you know, this is his hard work. Second round, round one! Oh my god, straight to it. He's, he's just told him to shut. <laughs> he's just trying to shit the ring. He's, the ref is disciplining him. Composure, I think, is going to be a factor in yeah, this fight. I yeah. definitely think that. Hamas needs to get his head on him. He needs to, he, he's been working too hard for this. He's been working too long. He cannot let it go to waste now. The, the posture is insane, though, I might say. He's definitely got that giraffe now. Hamas needs to get out of this corner. A bit of, a bit of time there for 20M as well. He's, he's talking his opponent in the ring. Oh, 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 nice oh, connection. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, man. I know he's playing games, he shouldn't have just heard his corner then saying, I... he's fucking hands off. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is truly a specimen, a specimen, you know. He is king of a, he is king of a regard, he is an acoustic guitar. The worst thing, the worst thing Hamas can do is get cocky. You know, his corner shouting at him to get his hands up, he really does need to. Nice little shot. These guys need to make sure they listen to the ref or the cup this out by going to the minute and save with mana. Yeah. I think it's really weird that 20 and Rose is wearing booty shorts right now, but we'll just get past that fight. I did hear somebody say in the changing room, don't worry about it, he's wearing so many shorts, fella. You know what they say, you'd rather swim in the ring than drown. Well, 20 and Rose is starting to play a little bit, pulling the corner, drag a little, a little shimmy shake there. Is he experiencing composure going to show a bit more here? Because 20 M Rose may not have the best record on paper, but he's been in there a lot. I, I, I would say he's been in there too much. You know? Maybe, maybe two times. It's not too quick. much. It's too quick. I think Hammers actually has that. Hammers needs to throw his hands up and defend himself here. This is not good right now for Hammers. I think I'm going to make it really nice. Composure is key. I'm not sure about you boys, but I'm thinking a bit nervous right now. It's a... Uh... Oh, there was a oh, Hamas Weno chant that lasted there. exactly one round, so... Um... Absolute scrap of a first round now. Yeah. You know, I... I you see Hamas sat on his, on, his, uh, on his stool right there. I think 20M's opted, well, their corners are opted to not get the stall in. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I think maybe it's a bit of cockiness from 20M Rose's corner, like he doesn't need the stall, but... Well, you saw Hammers trying to play a little bit of, you know, look at me, look at me. I, I feel like... his head down, getting I, his guard I, down, 20M didn't I can always, right back to him. I can't hit Jay, but I can always feel like he's saying, Hammers, stop being a retard and just do Put boxing. Put your hands by your face, my friend. That's what he's saying right now. He's saying, Put your fucking hands up. All right, with 10 seconds out, ready. Seconds out, round two. I hope he has the adrenaline in his soul. He's grabbed his head and he's punching him. It's insane. The ref's telling him off. Maybe give him a little spank from his boot. I'm just going to say, while there's a break in the boxing, laser, go fuck yourself, you pedo. <laughs> Okay, wow. The, the refs are all 20M kind of get like that when he's... Hamas needs to keep his hands up, this is not looking good for him right now. Hamas is tired now, 20M is not. He's just spit out his mouth guard. Was it a tactic or is he... Oh, Hamas Hamas Bueno, Chuck. 
Oh, and he's... That's for, oh no, it's from Alcott going in. Hammers, you've got to put your gloves out in front. I think his mouth guard went too far back into no, the mouth. No, no, no. Hammers has the worst gag reflex of the mankind. Yes, yeah, very good. You cannot uh, deny the heart of Hammers here, though. He's, got, I was in he's giving it his all. He's got the grit. He's determined. He wanted this for so, so long, and he's not just going to let it get ripped away like that. Hammers, he still listens to J.A. Yeah, and he, was, he, was, he was... I was in the gym with Hammers yesterday. Every time he put in his mouth guard... <coughs> 20 you know, is definitely listening to his calling and telling him that he's listening, but Hammers needs to do the same. Are we here? Jay eloquently put. Jay eloquently put. Hammers fucking throw, which yes, Hammers does need to throw. You can't we, deny the toughness here. You've got to remember, right, that Hammers is traditionally a kickboxer, not an actual boxer. 20 and Rose has had 10 boxing matches. This is Hammers' first. Hammers does well as a kickboxer. Does it translate, though? He's got no Hammers throwing in the final seconds. Ten seconds out. That's the end of the second round. What do we think of that second round? Other than the fact that uh, 20 M Rose hit Hammers at the back of the head and Hammers was gagging for it. Um, not, not the hit in the head, but for his mouth guard, I should probably uh, add. So. Yeah, we will say that Hammers is gagging because of his, his mouth guard. He's not just like being sick in there. He didn't actually throw up, but he did gag. He probably should have cut his mouth guard down a little bit. Nothing worse than that. I just kicked the table again. <laughs> a cheeky little punch which he shouldn't have done he Hammers really needs to have his composure really. Hammers just lost the point there you can hear the referee saying that was a straight point for what they did there it, it feels like a blood map right now which uh, maybe 20 Ambrose's hair can mop it up it looks like Hammers got hit to the back of the head there Everywhere. <laughs> The, the ref has just told him to the shut the fuck up. Ref. Misfits need this ref. <laughs> Come on, Hammers! No, sorry. Come on, Hammers. You know, you got to get him into that court. He's... I don't know what's happened. Is that a slip? Is that a fall? Yeah. Hammers doing all the He's in no place to be doing dances like this right now. He needs to listen to his corner. You can hear J.A. You can hear Morgan screaming out and do something. Getting really intense. I can. Wow. I, I. I. Generally don't know. This is. This is intense. Wow. Nice little shot from Hammers. My heart is pounding. I uh Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come 
understand what's going on now. A little bit of sportsmanship there. You see it tapping gloves there. Oh, and the throw job. Oh, and then 20 ends getting mouth in his corner now. Hammers on the ropes. Hammers did say he was ill. He's only managed to get about two, three weeks of training in this. He got a bruise and rip. Wow. Jesus Christ. That is end of the third. I I genuinely have no words right now. That was intense. So no one would have heard that right then. Obviously, you could see me and a couple of the Outcast team going over and seeing if Hamez is all right. We do have a little bit of a soft spot for that boy. 20 Emros turned around to me. As I, you probably saw me give him a little handshake and a hug. Um, turned around to me and said so much for the fucking 50-50. So let's see, what the, uh, let's see what the results of that. Big, big scraps from these guys. Incredible, incredible Ladies display. All of you should be clapping right now for these two hard warriors. Both men, everything tonight. That's what we got for Spence at the end. Referee has come to decision, and your winner is 28 Rosie! Commissioner mentions to Hamlet's a half an hour on the dog story. Boys, both of you can come and join me if you so wish in the middle. Come in, start with you, start with you. Just come in, man, just come in. Well done. Very hard work, battle. Very tense at some stages, but you got through, you got through. Some of your emotions right now, because I can tell you are literally a great player. Thank you for the answers, baby. Apart from the time, you see, they will be dragging through the back of its box. You see, if I have every first time, it's a great one. And the team shot, well, cheap shots or not, the crowd loved it, we all loved it. I know everyone watching at home, you definitely loved that. Is there anyone you want to call up the next? Hey, see, I just want to take some of my night That's a job. Big wash. Hey, Jay Rose, I know you're watching this. <laughs> well done, Jay Rose. Alex, come join me. Well, the pause, please get my hands, please, guys. This was your first ever time, second of the ring. You have done the distance, win, lose, or draw, you gain experience, but you also probably gain the love of the I like the sport, and I like the part. What were you most impressed with your tactics that you did in there? Because you had a smart tactic, whether you're probably ready to get or not, that's not the really important. What were you impressed with? I was more impressed with the target. I was shitting in on one of my times only on two weeks. But the better thing I put in, I came in, did my job, tried my hardest. But I'm glad next time I'm going to do it. Please come on, Wayne. Make some noise, have a great night, and put it in one day! Respect as always. Now, our next fight will be very, very soon, and trust me, you do not want to miss it.
I apologise if anyone just saw my box of shorts. Hey, I've got two pairs of 16s here, me and you now. You're busy as fuck, lad, you're sweating. Like, I know, mate, it's know. hot in here. Do you know what, though? No, it's just Jalons, not even sweating. Are we on mic? Yeah. What's going on, guys? Listen, I just want to put a shout out to everyone and say this is Bad Boy Beeman, the true, absolute G when it comes to, well, Outcast now. I'm the only one with the best knockouts ever and still yet to see anything change. Hopefully, JST can actually put on a better performance than he did against me in the last fight and knock his opponent clean out. We're praying for it. I'm Team JST tonight. Let's get it. 100%. Thank you, Beeman. Absolute legend. 100% my guy, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Beeman, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't hear then, Beeman said, big shout out to the fan. 100% my guy. So we are about to get something going on. I am sweating. My I am sweating my back off. I've just realised I'm, I'm like that geezer from DKM, yeah? Who uh, just sits and chats and then comes out in the sparkly coat. That's me now. I'm going to do that. I need to get in and do Jody's job. But yeah, no, this has been good. That was a that was a that was a war. That was a good fight. Um, obviously, 20 M Rose, um, his last performance, which was against H1 Dino. Big shout out to my man Dino. Uh, DKM might know him as uh, no, not DKM. Was it DKM? Did they fight? No, it wasn't DKM. It was someone else. But yeah, big shout out to him. I'm not gonna bait out his govy on here. <laughs> uh, but he managed to knock out 20 M Rose Rose, however you want to say it, in about 30 something seconds. Blood, very different, very different, very different outcome this fight. Um, yeah, but we like to see it. We like to see fights go all the way. Uh, and, you know, some people are disappointed with the decision, and some people know what the decision was. <laughs> but, you know what? 20 M Rose, I'm sure we'll be seeing him very soon because he's got another fight in a couple of weeks. And this is definitely not the last you have seen of Hamas Bueno. If you don't know, get to know because that boy is not going nowhere, right? Small step backs, make for big comebacks. Yeah? Keep you watching. Just saw a little comment there, commentators crying over hammers. That's funny. But we've watched that lad grow and grow and grow. So there is definitely some emotion there within the team because we've been, his, his debut was long awaited. His debut was very, very long awaited, yeah. And to be fair, if you saw one of your boys go and get smoked in a ring or smacked up in a ring or in any kind of capacity, you probably have a bit of emotion as well. And if not, you're probably a psychopath and you need to go get checked out. But yeah, something cool coming in a minute. Do 
Hill South of Newman. Yeah. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling excited. Oh, I can't wait, man. I'm training hard. So, yeah, I'm feeling good. What you've seen from Danny Trager just across from me, what exactly is going through your mind? Even though your fight is a long way away, what are you thinking? How could you potentially stop or beat this guy? Oh, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to die, bro. I'm going to die, bro. Honestly. I'm not going to miss him anymore. But, yeah, I'm going to die, bro. I'm going to do this. He's been walking fast with James. He's walking fast. I know for a fact. You I may still be walking fast. Every person in there is Just check with him. Him. Just check with him when he comes back. I know for a fact. You are a strong hitter. Do you think you're going to show him hits when he comes and land with him when you face Jason? Yeah, obviously. I mean, listen, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to be strong. But everyone knows I'm fine. The scariest guy in the scene. That's how it is. I was supposed to find Hamish Quayle, but I don't know how. He That's won't. Done. Huh? I didn't even tell you. It's our best though. It's our best though. I'm going to be my favourite player. If you do a problem with it, guys, I've got respect for him, innit? At the end of the day, I'm going to bring it. Let's see, man, you're not going to stop it. Game is going to first round. I know the fact that there's a bit of healthy competition here. Obviously, there is the finish line where both of you want to get there. But there is respect going through the ranks. So, is it alright for you here? Face the face, boys, and make a handshake up. Come on, Come on, baby! They're cooking right now. Just wait until Ange gets the fight in between these two. Right, make some noise once again for Ole Jensi and Italian striker. Now, also an update as well. Our next fight is our co-main event. And oh boy, is this going to kick off. Do not miss it. Well, I certainly was the face off of all time. I can't lie to you, boys. How are we feeling, though? How are we feeling? Yeah, we obviously we have JST versus Abyss. It's coming up very, very soon, so stay tuned. Just watch Hamas fights, hoping for a lot more than that. Yeah, but it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm proud of my boy Hamas. He, he went in there, he lasted every single round. There's no quit in him whatsoever. It is what it is. Shout out 20 M Rose, you know. He's had tons of experience and here's what it is. And there's a fight going on over.
Well, that was fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Uh, I don't know if anyone saw that from the live stream, but uh, Italian striker was going at it with Cowboy Stu, which is, well, is certainly an interesting fight to pick, in my opinion, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I see Cowboy Malkinoff still in the background somewhere, so classic Cowboy. Uh, 20 Emros crying in the toilets. Not 20 Emros, uh, Italian striker crying in the toilets. You know. It's been a long night, ladies and gentlemen, but Jay vs. Biz, any second now. I don't know, Pat, really, I'm just trying to fill time for Jay and uh, a bit start fighting. Uh, Chizzy will be the fight after the fight is about to happen. Ethan GB is a waffler. You, you know it, Mikey. You know it. Tactics, we do not know. Would you, uh, just d depends on the tag team, I guess. Our tag team, you're not Mikey. Mikey, I know where you live, okay? Anyway, j in a second will be JST versus Biz. It's gonna be a banger. I, I just know you live in Massachusetts. Uh, well, fights are about three rounds of two minutes, so it'll probably be like another 20 to 30 minutes.
Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to our call event of the evening. Please welcome first, find out the blue corner. Got to Lee with the reporter there. JST making his way to the ring now. Home main event in his hometown of Birmingham.
Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is our co-main event of the evening for two million rounds in the heavyweight division. First, coming to the press on my right, final blue corner. He wears the green and black shorts. He weighed in at 97, KG Even. He has a record of two fights. Two victories. And he fights out of March Cambridge. He's it's a big And now on to my left, fighting out the red corner. He is wearing the black and red shorts. He went in at 96 kg even. He has one fight on his record, which is a defeat, but tonight he looks for chance at redemption. He is the big geezer, French freezer, lady pleaser, lemon squeezer, Georgia pleaser, the hotel hero! experience is good experience. We saw it over a 20M Rose fight. 10 losses but still had a win. Is what it is. Like he was inviting him to come back in. But JST has shown a lot of improvements over the bad boy Beamer fight. I can definitely, tell you that. He is. And I know Abyss is a totally different fighter. He isn't as big as bad boy. That's the thing. He's not as big as bad boy, but he's, you know, is he quicker than bad boy? That, that, might, that, that, that might be the thing. It's usually if you're a bit smaller, then you're definitely faster. Side corner. You know, they've been hitting it over time today. 
you know, they cornered so many of our fighters. Bang it up. We might have to sign them as official <laughs> for the next tournament. Round two. See, Jay's going back in, trying to find his range. A biz with a high guard. The, cra the crowd noise is mental. It's electric. It's, you know, it's, it's energy that you can only get here at Outcast. And he's on the floor! He's knocked him out! What the fuck? He went! He's last sight for bad boy Beamham. Jesus Christ. Bad boys taught him well. Bad boys taught him well. Yeah, I'm on commentary. Come on. This Lozza. is Loza here right now, guys. On commentary. What a flipping knockout. Raw. Where's bad boy? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? That was mad. What a knockout from JST. What a knockout. Raw. Hey, it is bad boy, it is bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Come here, come here, come here. We're on comms. What did you think of that performance from your past opponent who you quite literally did well the same thing? Well and truly levels above when he boxed me. Um, I think that he's obviously a lot more calm and composed in the ring. He was looking for the knockout and he got the knockout. You can see that he was ready for it. Um, and, you know, a lot of respect for him. Who knows, eh? Might be in a, a rematch in the future. Jeez! Anyway, I'm going to pass you guys back to Ethan. Thank you very much, Lauren. <laughs> wow, I, I genuinely cannot fathom what has happened right there. The upcut came out of nowhere. You know, it, it was like an RKO or something. So it was, it was mental, like a, like a JKO. Both fighters right here. Wow. Please join the referee, please, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you this co-winner network catch fire at fire in hands. Final round of the first round! Your winner by spectacular knockout is the Big Geezer!
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, our comment of the winner, Jay S.T. Now, as exciting and amazing that was, that's our comment of the winner. Make the event comes next. Do not miss it. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, I believe JST has some more words for us. Jay, I've just been told you want to call someone out. Come on, Jay! Come on, Jay! Listen, I wasn't supposed to be biting this game, I was supposed to be biting someone from Canada. If you want to sit, you can fucking have it! Yeah. I can't wait to make my JST. Like I said passionately before, that was our call. Our main is next. Do not miss it.
I'm, uh, if you if you don't um, respect the fact that somebody's having a medical emergency, you're a psychopath and need to get checked out. There we go.
There was a second guys, the medics are currently dealing with uh, someone right now, uh, but when they are ready, uh, the next fight will start very soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, another update from Big Vimmers himself. They have now taken the person having the medical emergency outside just so they can cool their body temperature. As soon as we get them back inside and we close that door, we will be back underway. Um, I don't think the, uh, the council will be too happy about the noise complaints of people going, Ugh! and, and, uh, and the, the mass amount of thudding that we'll hear. So, yeah. But for now, uh, I will leave you in the capable hands of nobody, <laughs> or possibly um, Ethan or Jody, if they decide to pick up the mic and start talking to you, which I will probably make them do anyway. But yeah, uh, thank you, thank you so, so much for your patience. I appreciate it. I haven't been able to check the chat because I've been out there making sure that this person's okay as well. And um, yeah, I can only apologize for the delight. Things like this happen. We just got to keep rolling with the punches. Show must go on. That's what I've been saying the whole time. What I've been saying the whole time. Hold tight, everybody. Appreciate the patience.
main event now. Don't pull you up. So yeah, I'm waiting. I've got to drive back to Liverpool, mate. Like, oh. Give me the bike. <laughs>
We'll be getting some sound sorted on the other mic very, very soon. Our wireless mic has run out of battery. That's funny, that, isn't it? Technology these days, eh? The main event will be happening very, very soon. Stay with us. Testing, testing. There we go. We are back. We are back. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We had an issue with the monitor there. It wasn't even the mic. I thought it was the microphone at first, but it was not. It was the monitor. But now we will be getting the main event underway in just a moment time. We have on commentary, which we will have the camera up, depending on how long this fight actually lasts for, uh, because we have Chizzy 2 Dizzy's good, good friend on commentary. We'll be hearing from him very, very soon. He's been waiting very patiently. 
W Mans. W Mans. Everybody spam W Mans in the chat. If you don't, then it's okay. But you should, to show respect. It's Abyss coming back into the room now. He's taking his loss very well. Absolute trooper, absolute warrior. Fair play to them, man. I'm going to go get the main event. I'll be back soon. The time has come. We are at our main event of the evening. But before I bring them out, I have one question. Are you ready?
Jim Green out. The fighter in the red corner. He is the Daily Dose. He is CJ! Ladies and gentlemen, we have had a crazy night. The first outcast boxing event live in Birmingham, England, but we are not done. One more fight remains. We need one more outcome. It's been crazy, it's been nuts, it's been outcast. So, everybody, I want you to stand up in your seats, raise your drinks, because the time is now. The time is right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time once again. Oh, it's fight night! <laughs> Introducing first on the right side of me, in the blue corner, he is wearing the black shorts and blue gloves. He weighed at 74.2 kilograms. His boxing debut is right here tonight in Birmingham, England, in the H Suite. Please make some noise one more time before he goes to war. It's Chizzy to Dizzy! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black shorts and black gloves. He weighed in at 79 kilograms, even. Tonight, as well as in his opponent, he makes his boxing debut. Hailing from Manchester, England, please give it up for the Daily Dose known as CJ! Everyone's been waiting for this moment. Round one, let's go. Straight away, calm. CJ coming in, very hot. Very hot. Go on, Chizzy coming in. The pressure's on now. The pressure is on. CJ needs to start coming in with a lot more pressure. Chizzy needs to stay on the back foot. So utilize that jab a lot more. But already, a very good start to the round. Very moving forward, very moving forward. CJ roughing him up, CJ is roughing him up. CJ is really bringing in the pressure. Charlie is set on the back foot. Cheesy really needs to start utilizing the jab to stop CJ from coming forward. Collective, very calm in there right now. Oh, what a smack, what a smack. But Chizzy is staying calm, cool, and collected. He can't let the pressure get underneath him. He needs to start staying composed with these left hooks. Oh, what a 
What a hit by CJ. But they are. I feel like CJ's getting a lot more predictable now. He's kind of throwing the same shots over and over. Yeah. Yeah, CJ is getting very predictable. So Charlie just needs to work out what, what his plan is. Yeah. If he can dodge those big hooks and, and capitalize on that, yeah. he might be able to win it. It's only the first round. Still three more rounds to go after this. Both seem very composed, very relaxed. Oh, knocked down by CJ. Chizzy gets right back up on his feet. Staying very calm. I feel like it was a bit of a knockdown, a bit of a fall at the same time. Yes. Kind of got tripped up on his own feet there. I agree with that one. I agree with that one. Chizzy is staying composed. End of round one. Incredible round. Incredible round. Three more to go. Originally this fight was scheduled for three rounds, but they asked for an extra one, so we obliged. That's courage. That is pure courage and heart. Asking for an extra round for more entertainment for everybody watching at home and at live. See Jake Forrest and 20 Amro there in the corner. Oh, Mr. Chizzy too dizzy there. Just a reminder, this is a debut for Chizzy and CJ. And straight away, a proper boxing, the first proper boxing round. And they're in there, they're both trying to prove themselves. They need to prove themselves. Coming into the second round now. Second round, round two. We'll see if Chizzy sticks to his game plan. CJ coming in hot, coming in hot, brawling. He's coming for a scrap. He's coming in for a brawl. CJ's hungry for it, but I don't think Chizzy can play into his game. He can't. CJ needs to stay on the back foot, utilize the jab. CJ's putting the ring off very well. He's not chasing him around. Not chasing, that's good. They are doing very well. Yeah. Chizzy needs to have his guard high. They are both going for a scrap. Chizzy just needs to loosen up just a little bit though. The jab, the jab is coming in a bit too stiff. It needs to be extended a lot more. But still, he is still coming in, utilizing it, stay on the back foot. CJ coming in for the brawl. Corner. Back, of the, back of the head shot it was a clear back of the head shot. It is dirty fighting, but it's boxing. Anything goes. They're both here to win. They're both here to fight. They've got to do what they got to do at the end of the day. And if the ref don't see, they can carry on. <laughs> exactly. Stop boxing. Stop boxing. Some dirty cheap shots. That's the thing. We've seen a lot of that today, and that's why I really like this ref. He's been on top of the fight. Yeah. CJ is going for the knockout, but Chizzy needs to have his guard up to stop him from getting in close. Chizzy wants to box, CJ wants to fight. Exactly. Good in with the clinch. Yeah. CJ wants that knockout. Good check cooked by Chizzy. Good check cooked by Chizzy. Chizzy's holding his own. Can't, can't knock him at all. Brilliant second round from CJ and Chizzy. I hope everyone at home is entertained. This is what influencer boxing is. Fight. A lot of people talking shit about these guys, saying that they don't have a following and stuff like that, but they live on Twitter. These guys, exactly. they're bigger than that. They're on they are. TikTok, Instagram, they've got big followings there. CJ coming in at 1.7 million followers on TikTok, and Chizzy coming in with 780k followers on TikTok. Across all their platforms combined, there's about 3 million. 3 million. That's a, that's a big, that's, that's a Chizzy's lot. nearly on 50k subs as well on YouTube. 
deck. Yeah, you can take you can take the whole following from the whole card today and double it twice, and you still wouldn't get these guys' followings. Exactly. They're both here to prove a point. Seconds out. Round three. Round three is now starting. Let's see if they both utilize their game plan correctly. But at the same time, giving us the entertainment what we want. CJ still coming in with the pressure. The cardio is lasting. He's not feeling looking fatigued. Chizzy going a bit too wild. I think it's for Chizzy now we to stay calm. Chizzy is panicking a lot too much and not having his guard high. Now, coming in with pressure, hooks, jabs, dirty fighting. And that is giving him the edge right now. But CJ is, I mean, Chizzy is holding his own right now. CJ is very, very active. He's very, you know, he's just pushing forward. He's not taking any steps back. And Chizzy is definitely holding his Chizzy is not giving up. You can see he's been dropped, but he got back up straight away. And right now he is coming in with the jabs, hooks left, right, and center. Let's see if he can pay back the favor with CJ and Nearly missed with the uppercut. Near uppercut. If he stayed composed, he would have connected. Keep, Chizzy needs to keep that guard up. Because CJ's cardio is good. Very aggressive boxing right now. Big shot, big shot. Chizzy needs to keep his head up with his guard up. See with CJ right now, holding his hand against his face, dirty fighting, wow, big, up big up uppercut. Yeah. But Chizzy is not giving up. Chizzy's still free and he needs to defend himself there. Defend he's himself. He needs his guard Chizzy high. Chizzy is in trouble. The countdown is in. They should really call Chizzy too chinny. I can't like that. He has a chin on him. He's not looking dizzy as well. <laughs> oh, I think he's left. He's pulled. Oh! CJ. Has Chizzy won. Waved off himself. He fair waved off. Fair him. play. What a main event. Incredible round of boxing there. Incredible boxing fight there. You see one of our commentators getting into the ring now. He is Chizzy Too Dizzy's friend. You know, make sure his boy's all right. What a fight. Fair play. I don't know yet. We haven't dropped under like 150 or like that. That's really good. Medic's checking out Chizzy right now. I can now disclose that they are okay. The medical emergency that was taking place earlier was Mr. James Bueno. He is okay now though. Chizzy's getting checked out, making sure that he's not concussed or anything like that. Fair enough to Chizzy knowing his own limits. War between these men, like I was saying, CJ is very, very aggressive. He's coming forward. They both coming to prove themselves today. Well done to both of them. A massive round of applause for the three main event round bout we have just had. Nice and loud to end the show. Other fighters with the referee, please. Back and forth contest, but after, well, just before the end of round three, our referee decided to move on and was unable to continue. Your winner by technical knockout in round three, the Daily Dose. Because you're both in a similar situation. Fucking giant fight, aren't you? 
Do you want me to fight tonight? Come and say some words. Oh, you just like Listen, anyone who's 65 kg wants to be a smoke, you know where to find, message these, man, and I'll punch the fucking head off ya. My bunch of beers, no one stand up, no one wants it, my bunch of pussies, say it. I give it back to you, didn't I? Yeah. Big ups, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. We are outcast. We are out. Peace out. Goodbye.